I could be a mattress. I'm, Wait, I'm very plump. Would he be a better mattress or a psychiatrist? <laughs> you know, I, I mean, go, oh, time. bonsai buddy. That's what the hell it was called. Hold, hold on. I want to start it when he immediately said, I'm a mattress. <laughs> No context. No context. <laughs> so I apologize for interrupting. No, that's fine. But no, uh, Merry Christmas. Yes. Is where Merry Christmas. Yeah, Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. This is going to be out on Christmas. I think it's 34. So Merry Christmas. It's, it's, we decorate it as Christmas. Wait, the 34th like, of December? 34th of December, yes. We have yes. invented days. He's already, yes. had, he's already had some drinks. Entertainment. So, uh, yes, we've been going for a little bit here. So uh, welcome to Ask USA, Stupid Questions, Stupid Answers. Uh, we can start from our left here. We got John. And Kyle. And Andrew. Uh, Isabel, the... Uh, singing llama. Singing llama. Can you sing us a tune? <laughs> oh, no. uh, got it. Got it. Got it. Got it. Got it. Got it. That sounded distinctly alpaca. <laughs> How dare you, sir? <laughs> it's a dialect. Excuse you. Okay. My llama heritage has been insulted. I don't know. That that <laughs> sounded a little awful lot like you? alpaca. He's, a, he's on the edge. Where is your passport? How did you like? I'm out of here. I'm out of here. I'm <laughs> imagine a we imagine an opaca back. running away slash yes, llama. Yes. Wait, but we thought that's you. They, I split. They live in me. Oh, I don't oh. know. <laughs> split personality disorder oh, yeah. with a llama. Do you even remember the first name you gave us? No, I, I actually came up when you said Dora John. I'm like, oh crap! I have to come up with that. <laughs> he doesn't actually, remember his name, just like an alpaca. Oh, I like so to think never remember their name. Over time, as he's stacking these all up, these are all just personalities that live within him. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> they all fight for for the surface every single day. It's one of the reasons that now I try to push through the name thing as fast as we can, yeah. because it gives him less time to come up with something. And I love when he's like, "Live it the uh." uh. <laughs> <laughs> oh crap, I forgot about this part. <laughs> I'm just waiting for the day when you say, or it goes, John, Kyle, Argo, Argo. <laughs> he did it once. Yeah, I've yeah, already been yeah, him you, before. You said Andrew, didn't you? Yeah, I think yes. he did my, my real name. But yeah, he's uh, he's he's done me before. And then yes. he had to try to dispute that one, which I, I will say I have distinctly have proof that you are not yes. me. I don't, I don't believe you. Oh, yeah. Man. Uh, anyways, Tough so uh, we we have some stupid topics to cover, and since it's Christmas, uh, we, we brought a, or requested that we do some Christmas questions. Yes. So, John, Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas, John. How? My question is, how would you go about figuring out the carrying capacity of a reindeer, like a flying mm. rest? Are, you, are, are they? Because you know, you, are they unladen? No. Uh, just how much could you laden them with? Because my thinking is, the sleigh is just kind of attached to them by ropes. But mm -hmm. the sleigh isn't just dragging underneath them, so the sleigh's got to be magic too. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. Well, because they're all magic. I mean, they have like a lot of the pictures have like the sparkles. Mm -hmm. going yeah. Everywhere. I'm thinking like the the reindeer make like a sparkle like wormhole. Okay. Well, if the sleigh is magic, how much work are the reindeer actually doing? Well, I but think they're, 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 they're creating the magic. Yeah. Here's my thought: you get a throwaway magical reindeer. You get like. Blots and the other reindeer or something, yeah. and you just kind of weigh him down with as much stuff until he breaks, and then you kind of ba use that as like a baseline for what the other reindeer can. Uh, but what if they don't even carry? Need, you're just doing this experiment, and the other reindeer don't even need to carry. No, so you're saying to figure it out, you need to have a physical reindeer there that you just pile weights on until it. it dies. Yeah, I don't have access to these reindeer. Mm -hmm. So yes. how how am I as a, a amateur scientist supposed to figure out the carrying capacity of a reindeer if Santa's not? You have living? access to a standard reindeer. Okay. Okay. You start with a standard reindeer. Yeah, that's that's a pure. That's a neutral baseline. Okay, yeah. neutral baseline. You, you kind of you throw it out of an airplane to get it in, buoyant in the air, and then you just kind of see how much weight it can. Uh, Withstand while like falling. Well, you got to Wait, how that makes no zero, sense. <laughs> no, that's what that's if what it's reindeer falling, are doing. But yeah. the weight will reach terminal velocity. Maybe too. that's just it. Maybe, well, the, the, maybe the reindeers are just in orbit. Yeah, Michael. If it's falling, it's in zero g, which means that putting weight on it doesn't. Yeah, it's like, do it. so maybe that's the key. Maybe they have infinite weight. Yeah. No, no. The reindeer when they're shooting, they're going so fast, they're just in orbit of the planet, right? They so do go really fast. They, yeah. they actually they do go very fast. All Rain in one night. Reindeer don't fly; they fall and miss. Maybe they're going. They fall and miss, <laughs> except when they land in your house. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They don't miss then. Maybe they're going like uh, they. We're watching them in slow motion, like they're moving the speed of light, but we're just perceiving them at a slower speed. 
mm. when they stop. But I think do they I like the idea, like this, whatever the sparkles that they do. So as they're going through the air, they're like, do they sparkle? And then and they, they, the butt sparkles. They butt do, sparkles. Yeah, yeah. Mm. I mean, it's coming from behind. It's not in front of them. Oh, uh, I know so reindeers like, have floof. They're I'm making sure like a the sparkles. They're making like a sparkly road, and he just rides mm-hmm. the waves. I always road? figured that the only reason why the reindeer existed was because the elves really wanted to like. They needed a Christmas dinner, but then Dancer and Blitzen were like, they're thinking smart. And they're just like, no, you know, I, we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna make ourselves I, useful. I have Marketing had material. reindeer for Christmas dinner. Like that's like that's sad. Dark. They came that's to visit. dark. No, that's real dark. All Scandinavia. That's like the traditional Christmas mm-hmm. dinner is reindeer because well, we've got reindeer, and it and it's dark and we we want food. Mm-hmm. That's true. Do, do you go out and catch it yourself? Well. Not if you're your fancy tourist. Like, is it dinner yet? Mm-hmm. Hold on. No. Oh, yep. <laughs> no, it, it'll be a bit, but the, it sounds like it'll be ready in uh, yeah, about a half hour. <laughs> <laughs> He'll dress the reindeer in a half hour mm. with lingonberries. <laughs> sounds oh, very Scandinavian. Lingonberries? Yeah. What the hell's a lingonberry? Scandinavian berry. berry. Oh, see, stop throwing off these weird Thank foods. You, but it exist. says berry at the end of it. What do you think it is? I don't know. A ground, uh, like a ground <laughs> like a, mushroom? If they, <laughs> Carl, I, Carl <laughs> let, I, me, I, let me introduce you, Kyle, to dingleberries. <laughs> I have <laughs> find them delicious. So, I have never seen a snozberry, but in my mind, it is a berry. Ever, yeah. Ever, ever yeah. Since, yeah. Uh, ever since scientists started saying tomatoes are fruits, I have no idea anymore. No, yeah. scientists didn't say that. Or no, they did say tomatoes. No, they fruit. did say tomatoes. It was the fruit. legal people who said that they were vegetables. Before. Yes, it, yeah, was, but, it, was, it was big tomato. But legal yeah. people are evil. Yeah, mm. scientists are chaotic. Pizza's a vegetable. Yeah, they're they're. It's not. No, pizza's a vegetable. Pizza's a vegetable for well, but, for the legal. For as far as legal's concerned regarding schools, pizza's a vegetable. Well, well what if they had lingonberries on it? Oh, that's Lingen, a dessert. lingonberry pizza. That's a dessert not pizza. Like a pizza. <laughs> oh, <laughs> With some yeah, reindeer pizza. Mm-hmm. Reindeer, reindeer and lingonberry pizza. pizza. Well, the thing, if you go and uh, this is kind of really weird, but if you go to a uh, an MRE from like a Scandinavian country, they will have reindeer in it and an MRE yeah. for meals. Because it's, it's just cheap? a standard thing that they eat. Wait, why don't we have venison? Or do you have venison in America? The MREs? No, and, we have thing. It's they tell us it's food. Yeah, you have like we have something called beef stew. But I'm I'm pretty careful. Um, how many of the ingredients have it. quotation marks around them? Well, the backside of the package is normally like it's about as long as a novel. So whatever is inside of it's them. food yeah. with flavors. Yeah, it has calories. <laughs> it, it will keep you alive. That's all mm-hmm. they care. I mean, about. to be perfectly honest, an MRE is really not that bad. But if you eat an MRE every single day for for like three weeks. Then you're just you're done. You, you well, it just depends don't want on the MRE because there are good ones. Other countries have better food in their in their in their MRE packages. They're, yeah, they're, but they have like canned food. We just have plastic crap. Well, they try to make it so that you can have what is is close closer to a home cooked meal, so you can maintain morale. Where if I was eating out of a can for week after week, I probably would lose a little bit of morale. Also, they train you to eat MREs. What if they there's do. like like Salmon inside that can. Yeah, like if it was good delicious. food. Yeah, that's what that's what Scandinavian countries have. Canned canned fish? have. Canned, canned I I've, fish, I used to eat so cheese. much canned fish. Well, why don't you go catch a fish? Because it's probably going to taste like the lake. Well, that's what fish come from. <laughs> it tastes no, like they come water. from a farm that like they take farm, care of the but, water. But, okay, but this okay. So it comes from a farm that has water. What yeah. is that water? Probably run off from all the poop it's from the frick- cows it, in the field. It's a freaking lake. <laughs> Yeah, full <laughs> cow poop. It full, doesn't matter if farm or lake. It's flavor. It tastes like Man's fish flavor. poop because they're living yep. in fish poop. Now, like I, I've flavor. eaten fish before that's come from a lake that just has like sewage runoff going into it. It's that's not a bad fun. lake. It's not great. Well, yeah, it's not great. So you know you how did that on purpose or an accident? I mean, I did it. I did it on purpose, not thinking about the sewage runoff. You well, need better lakes. Think about this. You know how they they have the carbon capture devices that take the carbon out of the atmosphere? Yeah. You're that for the lake. Fish cap. <laughs> no, they need. Taking, you're taking toxins out of the yeah. lake. They need fish cap. Yeah. Don't poop in the lake because yeah. then it's like a full cycle thing. I felt bad for eating the fish after because, like, this was. Na- I killed the fish. I flayed the fish. I cooked the fish, and then I threw out the fish. <laughs> but it, it, if the fish tasted bad, you did it a service. You put it out of its misery, Michael. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It, it was, was living in runoff. 
It was li- it was it not delicious. Know it was a fish. It was sitting there saying, "Please kill me. I'm not delicious. I'm not delicious. <laughs> Please kill me. I don't want to be delicious." I mean, if you get eat catfish, they just eat poop. Well, that's because they're catfish. Yeah. Bottom feeders. People still eat them. They got whiskers. They have good parts to them. Well, anyways, John, do we answer your question? Was that a good answer? Well, Michael answered it. I said I said it was magical sparkles. So you measure it by how many sparkles? Well, it's it's magical sparkles. It just makes a road. And so they pull like a normal sleigh then. It's making a, a magical road of sparkles that they pull over a magical road. So I, Michael's answer is pile weight onto a deer until it crushes its Well, you spine. want scientific. Your, your answer was it's magic. I don't have to explain shit. Yeah, my, <laughs> answer, my, my answer was that it's all marketing and then they don't have to carry any weight at all. They're all pampered. <laughs> yes, they're all pampered. <laughs> pampered. They're, they're just on the posters <laughs> just posing. Yeah. They only work once a year. <laughs> all, those sleigh, all, those, all those sleigh bells, they're not real sleigh bells. They don't jingle. They, they belong in a Swedish MRE. Yeah. <laughs> Exactly. Okay, Kyle, right, Kyle what's, what's your question? Your, yeah. uh, okay, I have it. I have it. A question. I promise I do. You so, wrote it down and everything. I did write it down. Is so, it a parsnips? It's not parsnips. So, <laughs> what, if, what if Santa Claus made a parsnips? My question was, if Santa already has a bag of holding, because we, we're all under the impression yeah, that Santa okay, has yeah. a bag of holding. He has a, he has a bag of holding. Why does he have the North Pole when he can just put all of his elf labor camps inside that bag of holding and create a little self-contained bag of holding no, because that toy-making would put, thing? That would put all the elves in stasis and they can't make... Toys. Oh, the bag of holding is putting in stasis. Yeah, that, ah. yeah. Okay. That's why you can put a sandwich in a bag of holding and then take it out a month later, and it won't be just a pile of goo. Okay. There's no oxygen in there, Kyle. Yeah. Well, I'm well thinking, they have masks. You can. They could. You can feed little tools. Wait, into why the do bag the elves have holding. masks? You know how expensive those masks would be? Yeah. No, they, they, have, they, have, they have little tubes running into the bag. Okay, so if he has a bag of holding that's like that, uh, for one, you'd have to have an opening that's big enough. Yes. Uh, so anything that's bigger than that, you wouldn't be able to get in. An uh, elf is pretty small. Yeah. And he has to get in there, doesn't he? Or is no. he just yelling? No, no. Like, he just he sends orders in via carrier. No, the opening has to be big enough to fit a bike. And yeah. an elf yeah. is yeah. smaller than a bike. Well, I've, I've seen those commercials where somebody got a car for Christmas, though. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. that's true. No, Santa just delivered the bow. Mm-hmm. Oh, that would that would make well, sense. Yeah, right. to fit through there. Yeah. Uh, it's cheap. He but, worked with. They worked with. He worked with Ford. Yeah. So you can have a bag of holding, but does the bag of holding have walls on the inside? No. Well, I I would assume not. Just cloth. okay. So when 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 he first gained this bag, yes, and he threw the first one in there, what happened to them? They put well, I would. I would. <laughs> well, he never heard back from that one. <laughs> but then the second one, they tied a rope to him, and then they threw him in. <laughs> like, I'm thinking, if there's no walls and it's an infinite yeah. space, like there is a floor. Like, <laughs> there uh, is a floor. <laughs> I like the idea that he puts all of his elves in the bag. They'll be safe in there. Comes back later. Wait, where's my bag? <laughs> Looks over Miss Claus. I put it in the laundry. <laughs> Oh god! <laughs> it's like it just turns the bag over, dumps it out. They're all dead and drowned. <laughs> but but it, turning it over implies that there's gravity in the bag. Then yeah. oh yeah. Wait, how much the... water are you putting into your laundry? That's a lot of water. It, 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 kept, it kept trying to fill up the uh, the the bag of holding. <laughs> yes, <laughs> the water trying to fill the infinite space. <laughs> it ran a really long time. <laughs> the oceans <laughs> sank. <laughs> so the next question is how long do you have to run a washing machine yeah. to fill a bag of holding oh, enough to drown <laughs> thousands of elves? Apparently an hour. Yes. <laughs> it was a normal standard wash cycle. If it was yeah. a gentle cycle, they would have lived. Yes. Yeah, Santa's like, what did you put it on? Oh, and they were really dirty. I put yeah. it on heavy. <gasps> no. Mrs. Claus didn't skim. She went with a GE. I I put it on apocalypse, dearie. But I put it. <laughs> <laughs> but I put in the color saver. Yeah. Oh my god! It's like you put you put enough elves in there; they just become their own elf civilization. That you know. I added the bleach. Added the fabric softener. They're so soft and dead. <laughs> All the, toys, the Santa has to cancel Christmas because every toy is covered in water. <laughs> oh, water it's a waterlogged PS2. It, it has a little bit of dried, crusty bits of detergent on the on the rim, yeah. and you're just like, damn it! Everybody gets a pool noodle. Everybody just gets gift cards Hooray! that year. That would be. Do you know how? Like, imagine Christmas where literally every kid woke up and all they got was a pool noodle. 
one pool. I don't wow. even have for a one. Pool. No, they actually, I think for some kids it'd be awesome because you know that every one of them be grabbing that pool noodle and beating the crap out of their oh, siblings. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's yeah. true. That would be kind of fun. That, that would, would be, be great. And, well, parents would hate it, but Santa doesn't care. He's got bigger problems to worry about. Better like, than the, infinite, the, the The flooded infinite void that he has to deal with. Yeah. So what uh, we got kind of stuck on the bag of holding. What was the? What was well, the actual that question was what it was. Oh, why, yeah, why would well, he need anything yeah, else? Yeah, well, why would? Why, yeah, um, the question is why? Why does he have the North Pole when he could just stuff all of his elves inside the well, bag of holding and then have it? I think mobile there's, factor. There's two reasons. If you don't have any walls, you would have to find a way to make it work. And as if there's no gravity or whatnot, because I would think there's no gravity. Like things are just floating. I just there. A, I actually don't know. I thought there was a floor in a bag of holding. But if there's floor, then what if he flips the bag upside down? Or is, is the under, opening always up? I was always under the impression that a bag of holding did have a bottom, but it was so far down that you would never be able to reach it. And that most things you well, if you put, can't reach it, then you can't get stuff out. Well, whatever yeah. you put in normally just kind of like floats where you put it. Yeah, so there's no gravity. So that would be kind of tough. I mean, it might be beneficial. Uh, but the second one is status symbol. Yeah, ah, that's true. I mean, if you if you went like if you go to Disney World, it's kind of like going back to marketing, then yeah, yeah. So it's marketing. So if somebody popped up in the North Pole and like, where's everything? Goes, oh no, it's my bag. And you can shove the kid in the bag, and then yeah. they never be heard from again. But <laughs> yeah, <laughs> there's no just, witnesses. There's no, just, there's, no cookie getting a bag. There's just a, the elf little production line that you see. I can go. <laughs> <laughs> just like, no, I, I've got multiple too. bags. This is the bag for coal. This is the bag for gifts. And this is the bag for witnesses. <laughs> <laughs> That's why there's, there is no witnesses if they're all dead. No, they're not. Santa's a level 20 mage and he's just gotten way too busy. with. Oh, he'd be an artif stuff. Ar artificer. Ar ar artificer? Yeah. Because mm -hmm. yeah. he, he makes things. He does. It's true. He no, he doesn't make things. His elves make things. He's a tinker. Pretty sure he's the, just the god emperor. Oh, it's a lot of sense really when you do. think about it. Santa yeah. on his golden throne. Yes. <laughs> Handing out gifts to all the little boys and girls. Thousands of elves he give does. their life every day. <laughs> he does give us gifts. <laughs> Santa protects. Uh, he does. Oh my god. 40k references here. Every, yes. every single time like he, he has a golden throne and then a child comes up and sits upon his knee. And the elves in front of him are pushed to their knees, and he goes, "What would you like, small child?" And she's like, "A tricycle!" And he hears the screams of a thousand elves roar into the air, and then a the tricycle appears in his hand, and he goes, "Here it is, little boy. There's your tricycle." <laughs> now I'm just imagining the golden Bring throne the is sitting on the North Pole of Terra. Yeah, uh, I want to. Yeah, I yeah, kind of want to see a 40k Christmas. Yeah. Like, that yeah. sounds actually pretty awesome. Yeah, 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 I, I want to see the presents yeah, yeah, spawn yeah, yeah, through the yeah, yeah. thousands of lives. <laughs> a roar of death. A thousand elves. It's, it lies the extinguished elfish. into the imperial <laughs> Every <elfish>. day. <laughs> a I know, not every day. Every present. Oh, no. <laughs> uh, What's green and red and white? Or corpses in the snow. <laughs> <laughs> well, before we get too deep into 40K lore. Yeah, yeah. So what's your question? Yeah, yeah so yeah, for, what's your question? for my question... What is Rudolph's purpose? Mascot. No, because like they say like Rudolph lights the way. But I have some serious questions about the light of his nose. Well, it's red, a fog light. Well, no, it's okay. It's a fog light, but but For you who? can't see the ground. Like it's yeah. not going to help you in a plane. The yeah. purpose of a plane having a light, the little blinky ones, so people can see you from the ground. So if he has a light that from his nose that emits in all directions and he's using it to see the ground – you are going to be killing people that look at that thing. Well, yeah, well, no. Like his his point is not get like hit by other passing airplanes because before they had a blinker on that thing. I'm pretty they lost sure at least five right here. <laughs> so like passing jet engines, a, a seven forty seven sheared off. Sorry, it's just dangling <laughs> right near course. I'm pretty sure Santa. The whole idea of Santa <laughs> doing that came up probably before planes did. Mm. If we go back to the original text, yes. <laughs> <laughs> that like, one foggy Christmas Eve. Santa came to say, Rudolph, with your nose so bright, won't you guide my sleigh tonight? Yeah, good, so he's yeah, the navigator. Yeah. So he has this he nose, is the he has navigator. nothing. He has, no, he does. Wait, is, <laughs> oh, I don't want, I'm not going to, I don't want to say this, but so, so he is the pilot that gets them through the warp. Yes. Yeah, hey, yeah. <laughs> no, see, you're doing it again. <laughs> it's 40k Christmas. So anyway, uh, I, I figure like it, he, he is there and if his nose is anything, all it is is like a radar receiver. Yeah, it's, it's that's why it's glowing so red. He's guiding the sleigh. Like yeah. even in the, the, the what was it, the, the, the 
little claymation or whatever. Yeah. What did yeah, they yeah, had? The, the stop motion when they had that, like they showed his nose. I think like coming through fog, but you couldn't see that shit for more than fifteen feet. Yeah. So I, he ain't leaving useful. you nowhere. I think the important thing to take away from that movie, particularly, is that. If you have an abnormality, you will be shunned by society until somebody higher up finds use for you. Yes. yes. And, <laughs> no, that and Bumbles bounce. Bumbles do bounce. Is, they do bounce. And then you can rip their teeth out and yep. be considered the hero after invading their home. Also, yeah. it's okay to try to find gold in other continents. Yeah. Oh, God, no. Oh, wow. I remember that, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that was traumatizing. Him, what? That him was him traumatizing. licking his pick? Yeah, when he's licking I his pick. I still don't understand. Like, I understand why he was licking it, but at the same time, like, who made the decision inside the, the office? Somebody at Disney that also made other decisions at Disney. <laughs> was that Disney? That, that was not Disney. That was not Disney. It was not Disney. No, no. probably not, but some that, that person's been around. Yeah. Yeah. He's like, I did it again. (laughs) 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 It's like a penis. (laughs) I've worked at Balenciaga for the last couple of years. Why why didn't his tongue stick to that? That Well, it depends. If he was keeping it like like mercury in his pocket or something. (laughs) His his entire mouth was always like swabbed in alcohol. (laughs) (laughs) That guy was drunk. He was seeing like talking reindeer and giant and buffalo snowmans. Like that entire movie is just that man's fever dream. (laughs) Maybe he's dead. Hmm. He's just a walking corpse. It's been a while. He's a drunker? I think by this, after all this time, Yukon Renelius, he's probably dead. I'm thinking everybody from that that movie's probably dead by now. Not, not like, Santa. No, not, not, the, not, Santa. not Santa. What's that snowman's name? What's the cool mustache? Um, I don't think he's named. I don't know. I think he's just I the snowman. I think he's just the snowman. He's the southern hmm. snowman. Wait, no, he did have a name. I feel like he certainly had a name. He did have a name. Yeah, the snowman. He did say it at one point. Frosty Joe, the singing snowman of exposition. The singing snowman of exposition. That sounds like a z- somebody will have to tell us in the comments. <laughs> God, I can't remember that movie was long ago. I but I I feel like I purposely blocked out the licking pickaxe thing, mm, and yeah. you just had it come <laughs> rushing <laughs> back to me back. in like painful act like vision in my head. Mm. I want to go back to Rudolph. What the Rudolph the, the lion that's Weirdo. the king of misfit toys? Oh, the king! Oh of my misfit God! Toys. I've heard of that part too. Here on the island of misfit toys. Yeah, so I'm a squirt gun. Then all these squirts jam. Well, what if we rinse you out? Oh. <laughs> oh. Then you rinse out his personality. Whoa. Whoa, wait a second. You should at least give me dinner first. Like, what if all of you are so fucked up? Why don't we just fix you? I like I like the idea that the elves who make all the toys made them intentionally so that they could laugh at them. <laughs> I don't know if they're intentional. It's just somebody somebody was having too much eggnog one day and they just made a bad yes. jam gun. Yeah. And they're just like, screw it, we're gonna toss it. Damn it, this gun is jammed. Who was that one yeah. jack in the box that just had a different name so he, nobody wanted him? I'm a my gym name's... in the box. <laughs> yeah, like my nobody name... wants a gym in the box. My name's a gym in the box. It's like, he he had marketability. It's it still works. I would use a gym in the box. <laughs> it, it sounds like I'd get a like a discount. I, but my favorite part of that whole movie is they're still all defective, broken toys, and Santa's just handing them out. <laughs> the small like, children. This child won't care. <laughs> he <laughs> is your broken poor. toy. Have you not seen toys nowadays? Oh yeah, where they literally it is just trash. That mm, they sell yeah. to kids. Yes. Well, no, they don't sell to kids. They sell it to parents that then have kids that yes. won't shut up no, there, unless it's bought. There's a circuit board in there. <laughs> I mean, yeah. yeah, but that's cheap stuff now. They probably just yanked that from a Tesla that crashed. I'm also kind of wondering <laughs> why why was there a lion just at the North Pole just hanging out? I feel like that whole movie. Kids, I thought it was a toy. I feel like no. Who no. built a life sized lion toy? I thought I thought he's a griffin. Lion was a toy. No, he's they, a griffin. I feel like that whole movie was like or, no, or, you, like a reverse griffin. Head. He did have a lion head. He, it was a reverse, reverse griffin. griffin. Yeah, I thought it was a toy. It wasn't a lion. He had wings. They got it. They went to the nearby thrift store and they yeah. just bought up a bunch of random stuff and they said these are the misfit toys. It's they were low on budget. FAO Schwartz. And they're like, hey, look, it's a it's a it's a slim jim and uh <laughs> it's a slim jim and an arm. It's a slim jeff. Yes. A slim jeff. Stephens do a slim jeff. No, that doesn't sound right. <laughs> Throw it out. Throw it into the island of misfit gems. <laughs> Would you like to snap into a slim jeff? No. no. 
That sounds like a pickup line Jeff should never use. <laughs> Maybe you should. Oh, no. Oh. That's another 90s commercial that I do not want to remember. That's a good commercial, actually. Yeah, it kind of was. I remember playing. There's a bicycle game I used to play, and Slim Jim had a sponsorship with it. So that, like, weird guy with the weird, like, head thing. Randy he was Savage? A, he was a, no, no. It was, like, the guy that wore the suit, and he would always, like, run around really fast. It was really bad commercial. Pretty stuff death guy? Maybe. I don't know. But he was Isn't a character in that bike game. Man? Stop talking. <laughs> <laughs> that movie, That's maybe? That's all we do. <laughs> was it Ronald McDonald? I don't know. Michael, what was your yeah, question? What was your question? My question. I think I've brought this up before in private conversations, but I want to talk about the most messed up mo Christmas movie of all time. Okay. Yeah. yeah um, this is. Is Disney's The Santa Claus. Oh, yeah. Oh, is it the one with uh, oh, Tim, Tim Allen. Allen? Yeah, that was kind of messed the up. The single most messed up Christmas Santa film. dies at the no, beginning? No, Michael, Santa Claus 2. Well, we don't talk about that. Michael, Santa mm. Claus 3. That <laughs> one's dumb. Wait, how many did they make? <laughs> We're trying to there forget that one existed. They're coming out with a TV show. Oh, yeah. what? This Santa Claus, no. Tim Allen, the TV show. This, Tim Allen's no, old then, now. This yeah. sounds like, so yeah. Santa. The Santa Claus just I'm sounds, it is the Christmas movie a lawyer would make. Yeah, that's all yeah. it sounds like. Uh, yeah. No, like just to lay out, my question essentially is: Is it the most messed up uh, Christmas movie of all time? Mainly because, and here's my thing: Yes, Santa Claus dies at the beginning, and it does appear he commits suicide because he's holding the bag that is proven to fly, and he just falls to his death. He in the beginning, he, at the very beginning, so like he waves goodbye and then vanishes. Tim Allen takes his clothes, puts it on. And then finds out he's been engaged into a contract he did not know he was agreeing to, and which he doesn't agree to, will ruin Christmas for everybody. Well, the slaves are, or sorry, the elves are all slaves. Yes. So he's yeah. not the worst so, person. Yeah. But they're also children. So, so within the first eternal children. Within the first 15 minutes of the movie, a man commits suicide mm -hmm. because yes. he can't stand his job mm -hmm. and then utilizes blackmail. To mm -hmm. ensure that somebody else can take it. Yes. Wait, yes. isn't that just it's a wonderful involuntary, life? involuntary like and uh, like an illicit blackmail, and like it starts affecting his entire life. His family starts thinking he's insane. He starts putting on weight. He loses his job. He put he's forcefully puts on weight. No, I mean that's just what happens when you're depressed. Well, because they think he's insane. Well, he kind mm -hmm. of is. Okay, yeah. so let's compare this to It's a Wonderful Life. Yeah. Uh, there's a bank run, so a guy has a horrible job because his entire community is being taken over by another company. Yeah. So he tries to kill himself, and yeah. then God personally steps in and says, well, what if you didn't exist? And then it goes back in time and says, okay, here's all these children that are going to be poisoned, and here's this war vet who just drowns in a lake because you weren't there, and <laughs> oh yeah, your, your uh, wife, yeah, she she just goes to hell because no one loves her. No <laughs> one loves her. You're making a good point. That's, I mean, that movie's just about, like, without you, everybody's life would be horrible. <laughs> Except for Mr. Potter. He, yes. is, he makes bank, and he's a banker, so he knows how to do that. Isn't that uh, movie incredibly self-indulgent for, like, a Christmas movie? Like, very self-indulgent. I, I, oh, okay. I like the idea that he's like, Wow, my wife would have been that sad, real sad. Well, who's that guy over there? He looks extra happy. Well, that's the guy who had, like, well, since you were dead, he walked across the yard and found a billion dollars that nobody knew existed and is super happy now. So you're saying that man, his life's better because I was there. <laughs> Don't look at that man. <laughs> Don't look at so, him. Everyone's life sucks, except that guy. Hey, so, hey, Michael, <laughs> yes. uh, so you know, the, the third uh, Santa Claus movie... Uh, is called Santa Claus 3, The Escape Clause. Yeah, Martin Short's in it, and he yeah, tries to I, forget that. Oh I, God, I, I thinking can't. he's Jack yes. Frost, if I had to take he it. Yes, Jack, Jack Frost. Yeah, just on the picture. Yeah, but there was other one I Nate, uh, here, and this one might beat, and I have never seen it, but I'm assuming it's worse. Uh, Santa Claus Conquers the Martians. <laughs> Actually, I <laughs> want to see that. amazing. That's in 1964. It's rated 27%. That sounds amazing. 25% amazing, though. though. It says the endearly cheesy Santa Claus Conquers the Martians might not just be so naughty it's nice for viewers seeming a sub -com competent sci-fi holiday adventure it's martian ruler kamar is upset the children of mars are lazy and under the influence of drugs wait <laughs> wait a second oh no they've smoked the marijuana stick wait a second the ruler is kumar that uh, is mildly he, no, what he just said i yes. said he needs a white castle that was the name of the character yeah, yeah. Uh, he needs a white castle 
And a Herald. It says, actually, the worst rated movie of all time for Christmas is The Nutcracker from 2010. Hmm. Which is kind of funny. Yeah, uh, mm-hmm. yeah, I can see that. I want to see Santa beat up Martians, though. So it does kind of sound. So we got to see Violent Night. There's no. Martians. I want to see this. You don't know that. Oh, I got. Oh, got to go. Okay. Um, got to go. Got to go. Uh, but no, I will agree that that movie. It, the movie itself wasn't bad, but all the premises that kind of forcibly led up to it were not. No, good. See, this it felt of, like somebody had one fun idea on the Santa Claus and then just ran with a movie for it. It is a movie that is considered a bit of a classic now, which is what makes its entire premise that much more unsettling. So if, on, a, on a flip coin of that, what is your favorite Christmas movie? My favorite Christmas movie is probably A Christmas Story. And I know they play Me. the heck out of it on like TBS, but it is just a very, very good representation of life in like the 1920s. No, that's 50s. Is it? Yes, yeah, those are boomers. Well, you're just, it's the 50s. You're just liking that because that's back, back when you were born. It, it, it's a it's a time piece is what it is. <laughs> I mean, uh, no. For me, it's definitely it's Christmas Charlie Brown. Oh, that's I mean, that's yeah, that's I'd, music, I'd the say the music alone. Yeah, I'd say Christmas is a Christmas dun, Charlie dun, Brown. Dun, 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 dun. But I mean, in that film, Charlie Charlie Brown's an idiot, right? Like he he He's got a child. He Michael. found a twig and thought it was a tree. Oh. No, wait. I want to do a side thing. Like what? Okay, so Kyle did just pour us <laughs> the the juice blackberry juice. booze that he picked up. Wow, uh, that's fourteen oh percent, and that I actually looked up online beforehand, and it said specifically something that it just tastes like puke. Pu- uh, it's the purple it's stuff. Uh, it's the purple and, uh, stuff. Uh, yeah, your face was when you're like, Ugh! I'm like, I'm kind of oh, curious. It tastes like a juicy juice box from 1994 mixed oh. with bad oh, wow. vodka. No, this <laughs> tastes like the, like jungle juice that you would make in high school when oh. you had no idea what what. Taste what's was the, what's that alcohol taste? It tastes like the Listerine that your dad. Yeah, used to use. you know that's what it, it tastes like. If you take took Robitussin and watered it down. Yes, <laughs> yes, that's exactly what that tastes like. The, I would not be able to drink a whole. This is like a freaking gigantic can. This is wow. twenty three ounces. It's like Everclear, cheap brandy, and whiskey. Oh God, it tastes it like rubbing alcohol. <laughs> it wouldn't be so bad if it wasn't for the smell. Well, it smells like rubbing alcohol. It tastes like rubbing alcohol. Um. Okay, yeah, I just want to do a side oh, wow. because yeah, that is it's, that is interesting. Don't oh. buy don't buy juice blackberry. Juice, <laughs> juice. <laughs> you, right. you saw a drink called juice, and you're like, gotta get this. Kyle's been enjoying bringing us the crappy stuff because oh, he's like, wow. <laughs> that'll be funny. It is. Uh, funny. Anyways, Michael, uh, so is there a consensus there? On uh, that? I don't know that there's a consensus on what the worst. Hol- oh, the worst is. one. Yeah, that's oh, I was gonna say my best saying actually that is, the worst. is the Grinch. The Jim Carrey one. Grandma got run over by a ring. The Jim Carrey one specifically. Better than it the original? Wa- the, I would it say... It is so good. Yeah. I would say the original, yeah. is a, the original is a classic, and then you, you can't beat a classic. The song, mm. the music from that. Mm. But Jim Carrey's version was a really good modern and, yeah. But it, it had good visuals, it had good other stuff, but it was Jim Carrey. Mm-hmm. He just, At- it was his play of the part that just nailed it. Like he just, really was, and his yeah. improv that was in there mixing it in. Like, like it's, the thing, like I know uh, when this, he had the table that he yeah. pulled the, the, the blanket up, he was, it was supposed to make a mess. And when he pulled it and he actually pulled all the stuff with, and he walks off camera and then comes back and makes a mess. <laughs> that was full improv. <laughs> and he was not, that was not scripted. And it's amazing. And especially yeah. when you compare it to the cat in the hat. Oh, Mike oh. Myers, Cat Man, <laughs> which yeah. just did well, not. I feel like that, that was a that was a creepy. Well, because what made it, sex pest kind of uh, uh, the, well, that's Cat in the Hat. What made yeah. it work on uh, for the Grinch was Jim Carrey. Yes. Then they thought, oh, people like that concept. No, I mean they it was like Jim Carrey. Carrey. He, Jim Carrey did an amazing job playing the character, and all of it worked around him. Where as soon as they did the Cat in the Hat, it just doesn't work. Well, also, no prosthetics. Jim Carrey's face just works like that. No, yeah, yeah it is. Jim Carrey's <laughs> like no, he, no, he, he had a that smile. Nose. No, he oh. had a. There was a quote. Somebody, somebody said the, the like it was all no. visual effects, and then he just he was on camera like talking about it, like it was all visual effects, and then he literally did the Grinch <laughs> face, and he's like, nope, it's no, that's just my face. And it was like, <laughs> what? What the and, shit? Yeah, and so. Yeah, I I love the Grinch movie. There's a couple other Christmas movies we kind of watch as a family, uh, like uh, Christmas Vacation is another one. But that yeah, one that, that one, one has a lot of good moments. But the Grinch is always a classic to me. 
the Christmas Vacation is kind of just an uncomfortable film. For yeah, me. it is. But there's some really good moments in there that even when you know it, like, like shitters fall. Like, I don't know. It, yeah. That has some fun stuff. Kyle, what's your favorite Christmas movie? It's Christmas. Excuse me. See, like, I still think, like, the Charlie Brown Christmas is the one that I remember because we watched it every single year. Yes, that, every yeah. single year. That and Garfield's Christmas. No, what? Garfield's no, Christmas. Yeah, I watch well, that every actually. year. That is that is no, that no is comparison. Not. We watch. Well, we I watch three. it every year. We yeah. watch three every single year. It's it's uh Char- it's Charlie Brown. It's the Garfield. Garfield, but it's also uh, uh National Lampoon's Christmas uh, Vacation. Yeah. That's it. Yeah. That is those, those, those were three. the three. Yeah. I have that song stuck in my head now. That anyway, Rudolph. Uh, What's the other one? Yeah, uh, but let's move on because I have. So, oh, we yeah, have John has his. Oh my God! What did what you is open, this? Open it, Argo. Oh no! What oh, no, you got it. You, you got it. John gift. John had it ready on his. The uh, visual yeah. aid. For oh, those no. who are listening, is currently a black well, bag it's with a box. Lots of nuts. There's a box. <gasps> Wits end. Open it up. Oh my God! There's so many. Oh, there's trivia inside. Yeah, I'm. Is this 1980 trivia? Do you want me to just pull one? Yeah. Okay. Am I supposed to read it? Uh, read the, but that's read the answer. The okay, you, you got four questions. One of them's a riddle. Oh, okay. Uh, I'll I'll read the. Uh, let's. Which one? One, two, three, or four? No, two. He's looking at me like the two, I. Oh the no, answer. that that's like a. Um. Oh, that one's arranging in a sequence. Uh, we'll do. Um. It's. It's one of the distinctive <laughs> two, two sucks, Michael. <laughs> two, two, yeah, yeah, it does. Sucks. Uh, no, it's one of the distinctive qualities you relate part of your personality think trait. What? What? Number four is the riddle. No, that was the ri- that was a riddle. That was definitely a riddle. <laughs> yes, well, okay. my you know, personality bo- trait is bloated. Number four is a quote. Uh, Caesar what? once said, "In blank, trivial causes pr- produce monumentous events." Trivial pursuits. In what? Uh, well, it's a multiple choice. So it really doesn't work on this. This is a silly game. What is this? It's a good it's game. A- I think we went through and grabbed specific ones. Maybe uh, at some point. I don't. Maybe went through all of work. them. Stop reading. You're cheating. <laughs> this card literally says, true or false, answer both correctly. <laughs> <laughs> true or false, answer both correctly. And there's two questions. Oh, oh, there is questions. I <laughs> question. True or false? Which are correct? There's two of them. I'll have to, go, <laughs> I'll have to go through here to see if we can get fi- pull out some of the ones that might work. Is it, is uh, it present? Huh? Is it present? Oh, thank you, Vama. It's wit's end. This looks very old. It, it was part of a board game, but the board game sucked, so I just kept the car. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, yeah, we'll, we'll play around with that and see what we can do. Uh, but in, in sake of time, uh, let's uh, try to get through here. I have uh, – we're doing improv trivia. Uh, we haven't done this in a while. So this is imp- uh, where I'm going to ask a fake trivia question. This does not have a real answer, or if it does, it is s- – oopsie. Um, All right. And the, the person comes up with any answer they want, and we have to p- go off it as if it's truth. So we have to. We can ask questions, and they have to just anything they say is truth. Uh, so, John, are you f- ready for your first one? I am. All right. Uh, and these are all Christmas related. Oh, that's kind of the thing. So, uh, Santa placed his workshop in the North Pole so they could utilize what special property of ice? The special property of it having an expansion when it's cold. It, it gets expands. Bi- yeah, it gets Where's bigger when it's cold. I don't need a ding. What? There's no timer. Yeah, there's not. A I control question. truth, Kyle. <laughs> <laughs> I choose when it dings. <laughs> I'm the one who dings. <laughs> yes. There you go. Ding. That was a ding. Well, so that was a ex- clink. Because it expands. How much does it expand? Uh, enough to break rocks. Oh, mm. is that what they are they mining? No, it can break rocks, asphalts. I mean, the roads are horrible at the North Pole. <laughs> <laughs> I, like the, I, I like the idea. It's aesthetic reasons. Yeah, the L's work so fast that they get super hot and they start yeah. to expand from th- so thermal expansion and turn it into. <gasps> They're like the bees. They'll, yes. they'll get as tall as a normal person if the, you just let them go. Oh the, my God. And they'll, they'll eventually just rip apart and explode. There's um, the bees that kill um, the, the wasp by, by uh, shaking themselves over it to get their temperature oh, yeah. just yeah. Up high enough to kill it. Yeah. <laughs> That's what the elves are doing. If anybody invades, all the elves just grab on and they're no, like, oh, no, they're no. hugging me. It's like, oh, they're hugging me. And then they just start vibrating rapidly. <laughs> ah! The last thing you want to do is to invade an elf hive. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, it's the queen. I'm doomed. <laughs> they got a bunch of tiny little elves just vibrating on you as you burst into flames. God, could you imagine like a Starship Troopers <laughs> movie, oh, but instead no. of big bugs, it's just tiny little elves? <laughs> <laughs> and 
I'm just imagining. Get back on the ships. <laughs> <laughs> and how I'm just imagining Neil Patrick Harris with a reindeer just strapped to the hood of a truck, just doing the mind thing. And it's scared. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes. You shot the reindeer, tied it to the hood of a truck, and now it's scared. It should, it should be. That's the only movie where Neil Patrick Harris should play a Nazi. Well, yeah. oh no, he uh, Iron Sky. Yeah, he, no, he, not no, not Iron Sky. Uh, 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 uh Starship Troopers. Yes, that's, that's what we were talking about. Okay, I started, my brain got distracted. <laughs> Iron Sky Wait, was the one where he played one. Did he? Did Wait, no, was, was he in else? Iron Sky? He should have been. <laughs> Dinosaur, he should have been. Yes, Neil Patrick Harris should have had dinosaur Nazis on the moon. I love when I remember a movie and then input my favorite characters that I made it myself <laughs> into the movie. It's my too. movie now. Yeah, yeah. yeah. My own mind movie. No, I I remember James Earl Jones was in Elf. <laughs> was he? He should have been. Probably. Yes, he should have been. He he played an an elf. Because, <laughs> mm. or no, no, he was one of the claymation penguins. Oh, that's who he was. Yeah. Or was he with? Or was he the whale? I remember uh, no. was it James Earl Jones did one of the chipmunks, right? Yes, he was Theodore. Yes. Yeah, it sounded like a normal <laughs> voice. <laughs> yeah, and they just sped it up. <laughs> just sounded like yes, a regular person. <laughs> they go, and here's his voice at the normal speed. They're like, hi. <laughs> uh, anyway, uh, so Kyle, uh, I kind of have your question. Mm -hmm. uh, what Christmas gift led to the start of the Finnish Civil War of 1988? Ooh, it was a gingerbread cookie that was half eaten. <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> oh snap. snap. Who got this cookie? It was probably the Danish parliament. The probably. Yeah. Wait, the we Dan don't know. The <laughs> Danes got a cookie in 1988. It was half eaten. Yes. So and, and it was half eaten. Well, the, so the, the, the Danish. The height of the cold. God, in there. No, that's the end of the cold. Wait, different type of pastry. Yeah, okay, Kyle, I'm end. thinking like yeah, Parliament's like, oh, we have, we've been given a gift. <gasps> like, ooh. And so they go and open this box and it's a half eaten cookie. And then they're all looking at each other like. <laughs> and one of them has a Like, what? <laughs> they're like, who's going to get the half of a cookie? And oh, they, I'm just imagining everybody's looking around the room just like, who did it? And then there's just. Some dude from Daneland who has a little bit of crumb. Daneland? <laughs> what is Daneland? <laughs> what do you think is the land of Danes? Yeah. <laughs> Daneland. My mind is filled Land. with Finnish stereotypes. Like you've got one guy with a sniper rifle and one guy who's just wrapped in a towel who came out of a sauna. Yeah. And one guy has cookie crumbs and a bottle of vodka meat. Yeah, exactly. And so mm -hmm. there you go. And then the sniper rifle just gets <laughs> it lowers, <laughs> and then the towel, and then lowers. the war starts, um, and then the war starts. Mm -hmm. That's right. what happens. So, so Michael, I have your question. You uh, missed your question. And, uh, I'm not going to. Oh wow! He asked the question. <laughs> I've already I wrote the these questions. questions. <laughs> All right. Uh, so your question is: Santa was not the first choice as the bringer of Christmas gifts. What was the first choice? Um, Sally May. So, oh. so, like the the, the, the mortgage loan? the mortgage company, yes. <laughs> They're like, you can give gifts to oh, all the children, and then the, the the children got the gifts and were so happy and pleased, and then they got the bill. <laughs> <laughs> and, 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 and what did you get for Christmas? I got three acres in Alabama. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Family. <laughs> Uh, no, no. Sally, Sally Mae is where I have my student loans currently. Sally Mae and Freddie Mae? I think it is Fannie Mae, but we're going to go with it. Is he, no, is it's that, no, it's no, Sally, Sally Mae. It's Sally Mae. It's Sally Mae. Yeah. yeah, because they're the ones who ripped me off. But hey. <laughs> yeah, hey, but hey. Nobody so, does. They're like, like yay, I got, I got a, uh, a Nintendo Switch and a bill with a 14% interest rate. <laughs> <laughs> so Sally Mae's not allowed to do Christmas no more. No. That, that, mm. That that with, they got away with it for five years. Wait, do mortgages have mascots now? Or did they? Um, mm. just, probably just dollar signs. No, now I'm just imagining an anthropomorphic dollar sign just coming out and just doing, like, ma appearances. At I feel like houses. U.S. Bank probably did it already. Yeah. Just, what's the name of that dollar sign? Oh, that that's Freddie Mac. Well, what's that one? Well, that's Sally Mae. How do you tell the difference? Well, that one has eyelashes and a bow. Mm -hmm. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> All right. Uh, John, I have your next question. In Indonesia, there is a tradition to throw what object out of your window on Christmas Eve? Gum. 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 Like used gum? gum? Well, 
it's illegal to throw chewing gum on the street. So this is the one day a year where you're not going to be put in jail to do it. So everyone just chews a whole bunch of gum and just spits it on the street. I'm, I'm still going to get the, very upset when it ends yeah. up on my shoe. Juicy I'm, fruits, I'm, holiday yeah. of the year. That's why you stay home Christmas Day. <laughs> because you go outside, you're just going to get gum all over your Gardaloo. shoes. Gardaloo! Mm-hmm. Gardaloo! Mm-hmm. Yeah. No. Oh, that's a how, how do you chew five gum? Chew it and you spit it on the ground on Christmas. Yes, <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's the sensation. Of that's the sensation of chewing. You can five. buy a you can buy a gum chewing device and will automatically spit it out the window for you. Yep. Ooh, that's, I, uh, that's non, non, for the diabetic. That has been in a situation where I'm picking gum off my shoe, and part of me wishes I had the resources to do a DNA test. The oh, yeah, no, it's the flat. Did it. Whoever did I this. I still remember in college, I saw someone take gum out of their mouth and put it on the bottom of a desk. And I just looked at them, just, what the hell are you doing? And he, he responded, what? <laughs> <laughs> That's what you do. No, it's Whoa. not. Gum doesn't go away. <laughs> you are the problem with society. <laughs> You go and fucking make that man peel that gum off his teeth. Shame! <laughs> shame! <laughs> oh. And he had no shame. I think yeah, John no. has some opinions. Oh, yeah. About gum so, being in places it shouldn't be. Repressed, repressed trauma. All right, Kyle, I got your next question. No? Uh, the famous song, Grandma Got Run Over by a Reindeer, is actually a remix of a song from 1965 called Grandma Got Run Over by what? The Toblerone. <laughs> That's a big Toblerone. Or is it Grandma a got run over by the Toblerone. <laughs> no, this is John's question. No, no I got it. No. His question. Oh, I'm Styles. drunk. That was my question. I oh. wanted it to be John's question. Well, then we need to open another darkness. No, oh, well, uh, let's get through these questions first, okay. and then we can mm-hmm. uh, open another can of beer here. Um, just, <laughs> <the Toblerone. laughs> you actually oh. had that ready so quick that oh. I feel like you just have it on your mind. So, what? so on that what? note, has what? anyone else? Because I didn't notice this until it was pointed out in a meme. There is a bear. Yeah, somebody pointed that out mm. too. A yeah. bear? Mm. There is a bear in the triangle of Toblerone. There is. I have eaten Toblerone and just a piece of one like once in my entire life. So Jeez, I, your I've seen the boxes. I've never seen what's inside the well, boxes. Yeah, I don't, I'm not looking at the logo and saying, what interesting mystery can I devise right. from here today? Yeah, I look at the, yeah, no, I didn't until the meme. I just looked at the box and said, oh, chocolate. Mm. Yeah. Mm. With with some crunchy stuff that gets stuck in your teeth. I have no mm. idea what that is, but ooh, mm. probably chocolate. Probably coffee, but it also killed grandma. Yeah. yeah. She got ran over by... T- Toffee? Apparently. Chocolate covered toffee. Ooh. Yeah. Uh, Michael, I got your question. Okay. Uh, in the Sahara Desert, the mm-hmm. traditional U log fire, due to a lack of access to trees, uses what item? It's just a crap ton of camel shit. It is piles oh. and piles of burning poop. That's okay. what they dance around. They, uh, they Wait, do they da dance da around. Dore, da Dores, welcome Christmas, Christmas time. Nobody knows the song. Dore, 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 welcome Christmas, Christmas time. Dore, 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 they sing it while burning piles of shit. I want to see that, like, when they have the Yule Log fire on TV. Yeah. <laughs> just, <laughs> just a pile of <laughs> and, Like, every now and then, you just hear... <laughs> they're, yeah, they're, they're, keep, dry. they're keeping it going. They're dry. It's, it's the it's worst they? stuff. You've got yeah. to let it dry. Yeah. Yeah. It's the desert. It's you just all have dry. the camel poop right on the fire. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You that's can't, what I'm saying. You can't mm. have the wet stuff. Well, okay. Uh, John, I got your next question. Uh, in It's a Wonderful Life, Zuzu Bailey's famously said, every time a bell rings, an angel gets his wings. This line is actually an improvision. What was scripted to be rung for an angel to get his wings? Every, or wait. So what, what item every was time, rung? Every time a, a, a what rings, an angel gets its wings. What else rings? No, it, it was it, bell. Is, no, no, no. <laughs> that was, that was you can't not disagree improv. with John. It's anything you wanted to be. John. Yes, that was not improv. She read it as written. It was a piece of. <laughs> it was a piece of eighty twenty. He yeah. will fight. He will fight you on this. Zuzu was a great actor. She could do line reading. She knew it exactly as written. Zuzu was the greatest actor of that generation until she was taken she by could, polio. She 
no. She was taken too young. She can oh. do anything. Oh, well, poor Zuzu. All right, well, then you're not going to like the next question. Upon oh. further investigation, it's a wonderful life determined that an angel was not supposed to get their wings. So the quote would have been, what, Kyle? Every time a bell rings, an angel gets his what? I was going to say something really inappropriate. Every single time, every single time a bell rings, an angel gets a jar full of his own toenails. He left on the oh, goddamn floor. A jar of toenails? Yes. They yeah. left on the goddamn Wait, floor. Wait, Kyle, where are you he supposed to, to keep eventually. your jar of toenails? No, no, they're the toenails that he clipped, and then he didn't actually throw away. They're just in the carpet somewhere. Give it back to him. Wait, how did they're he get kids. in the jar? What if he's got hardwood floors? Someone got them, collected them. Who is collecting toenails? <laughs> the tooth fairy. This is Somebody's the weird. The tooth fairy is branching out in weird and unpleasant ways. <laughs> Wait, wasn't the tooth fairy already weird unpleasant? Weird strange ways. How is stealing children's teeth not already weird and strange? Like unorthodox. No, you move from children's teeth to angels' toenails. I feel like those I feel are. That's a step up. That's comparable. The the toenails of angels feels yeah. like a step up from children's well, teeth. Well, well actually, let, let's continue this because this might change. So, deep dives into the archive for *It's Wonderful Life*, conducted in 2021, concluded that it was not an angel that was in the script. So, the quote would have been: "Every time a bell rings, a what gets his jar of toenails?" <laughs> a uh, <laughs> a senator. <laughs> a senator gets a jar of toenails. It's like this is a gift from your constituents. <laughs> it's like, oh, thank you. I can see raising their taxes last quarter did not do well. Well, no. I don't know. In this time period, this is like uh, was this the 30s or 40s? What was this, the years? I mean, oh, it's the Great it Depression. The, it it's, one, the, it's like 19. It's Jimmy Stewart. I want to say. It's Jimmy Stewart. How does they give us a time period? It? it was the 20. He was an 20s feels a little too soon. Jimmy Stewart was well, a real man. There was the year it was recorded and the year it was based. And so... Well, they also well, went back in time. The, the only thing I know about it, It's a Wonderful Life, is it basically came out of copyright in like the 1970s. So they were showing it on every channel because mm -hmm. it was free. How long was copyright yeah. in the 70s? Like 50 years. So it, yeah, it, in the, so it came out in the 20s? It might have been in that's the 20s. Well, that's like what I old for that's what I, I don't think it well, came out in the 20s. I, I can figure it out well, here. I think he's right. right. I, think it, I think it came out somewhere in like... Because Jimmy early thirties. Jimmy Stewart was a contemporary of John Wayne because of the man who shot Liberty Valance. Oh, and John Wayne. Well, was all the black and white. All, all I, the black and white. I have for, I have the release date and year. Okay. Okay. Uh, so what what are your guesses? Well, I said early thirties. It's, no, it's going to be no later than like thirty five. I'm guessing forties. Are you going to go more specific? Forty six. John actually hit a dead on. Oh, 1946. Oh, 1946, December 20th. At, wait, year after World oh. War II? It went the, because it's probably going to, it's going to be based on the past. So they're yeah. covering beforehand. But 20 but years he, prior. You want the moon? Oh, I'll throw a last But yeah, when he says 40s, I'm like, hmm. a bit closer. So and then he's like, he's like looking at my eyes to get the glean off my screen. Yeah, like it was super cheap to put up on cable television at one point or another, and that's why everybody remembers it fondly. Mm -hmm. Like the monsters. Like uh, the monsters. Uh, but anyways, yeah, I thought that fun would be like, let's see if we can everybody build on questions, except for John didn't let it build. Yeah. No. <laughs> <laughs> he got very angry. It's Zuzu. <laughs> Zuzu is an acting genius. <laughs> but Senators with a jar of toenails also pleases me, that's too. That's where so we yes. end up. Uh, yeah. All right. So I do have some questions from the audience. Darkness. Uh, oh, yes. Uh, so we want to open our can of, let's open our can of raspberry. So right. John, uh, it's probably early to say this, but we got- We uh, already said it. No, John brought uh, some- Darkness uh, from Surly Brewery. Special. Uh, it is a very strong 12% Imperial Stout, but this is a, a let me see, where does this have written here? Uh, uh, cacao, raspberry, and vanilla beans. Um, but uh, as we get this cacao. cracked open and going around the table, uh, I have some audience questions. These are people that gave some questions from the Patreon or from Twitch. And uh, I have, I think, four here. Yes, I do. So uh, for the first question, uh, then the, the nice thing, too, is they're also, as far as I can tell, mostly Christmas related. So, Yay! oh, except for Nolan. But this, we, can, we can make it Christmas related. Uh, do you think that fruitcake should be a thing for Christmas? 
And have you ever tried fruitcake? I have had fruitcake. I've had a homemade fruitcake that was great. I love um, it. But I've never had a fruitcake that I've bought or I've known that has been bought somewhere to be good. I uh, I actually love fruitcake. I think it's delicious. I, will, I think it, I think it I has to be made a whole by, for it good. has to be made by hand by someone like fresh or else it's not right. Fruitcake can last years. It's like a brick well, of food. It, yeah, but it's not. This no. particular fruitcake is this, a tradition. If, if it tastes. What's it taste like? No one's had it in the 50 years. Yeah. It's been passed. <laughs> it's, no. yeah. I just pass it on I, to the I next person. A fruit cake, I like fruitcake. Of, uh, of like a fresh made fruitcake that was homemade and somebody knows what they're doing. Yeah. I could Anything could be good then. Like it's carbs and cherries and stuff. Like No, it, well, no, no. no. It's, it's, it's literally like. A pound cake, like yeah. an overflowered pound cake with like candied fruits. In yeah, there. I have. A, I think that's good. I, I don't like a, that. If it's made fresh, then it is good. It's just good. Period. Yeah, but I'm thinking a lot of it is just people that make it and it's overly hard and they just let it sit too well, long. I think. I think the whole meme about it being shit was because like that wasn't there like the Wonder Bread Company made. Mm-hmm. Like fruitcake for like a while, and then that was like the holiday fruitcake it, or something like it that. It probably was people that have never seen it before saw its representation of some very specific one, and then just that took over as it was like a me- it was like literally a meme. Yeah, I have a kind of weird family in that we never made fruitcake, we never like, do either. You buy and it, we never used French's onions. That's right. Okay, French's That's onions wrong. is a requirement. Yeah, you're I- in the Midwest, man. You got to put yeah. it on like anything that has the word hot as the first word. You have to put the it on. The only it. thing they put it on when I was growing up was like green bean casserole. Yeah, okay, yeah, yeah it is required yeah, yeah. a green bean casserole. That that's is. It. Oh, yeah. You all I feel like there's we argument. didn't have green bean casserole. I, know, I feel like there's well, an argument to be had, though, that the French just makes it a hot dish. Um. Yeah. I, mean, I tried. And, 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 and Kali is the correct word. Not just fried onions. French's. You because just, it's tried, all the same. No, I've tried Target no. brand. I've it tried it? It's in, it's in uh, your I, brain. Target Mm-mm. brand, Mm-mm. crappy, horrible. It was hollow. It had no flavor. Okay. Uh, the Trader Joe's, better. I think the High V one we tried, and it was not actually bad. That one I would give better uh, credit for. High V's like in house brand stuff is actually not too bad. Is it Most fair fun. to just come to the assumption that you're insane? Only if you do too, Midwest. I know I'm insane. Okay. You're aware I'm well, insane. Kind of uh, towards Michael. No, no. Yeah. Green bean hot dish. No. No, that is the one I probably will say is not a hot dish. It, yeah, it, I think green bean casserole and, is a thing. And by the way, John. Mimetically a thing. It's tater tot casserole. No, no, <laughs> no, that's, no, no, it's not. not. A hot it is. You can't have. I, I am not a fan of where you have two things that are identical and are named the same. It's fine if one is a subset of, and I feel like hot dish is a subset of a casserole, and it usually has some qualifiers. Usually, some kind of a cream of soup, and it has to have a okay. starch in there. So Here, here's the no, no. here's the recipe. Okay, you have a uh, cream of mushroom soup. You're in a casserole dish. You put in. Either green beans or tater tots, and then you put French's on top of it. No, because if, if you put tater tots in, it would be a hot dish. You put green beans in, it's I'm gonna, I'm gonna tell you. So that one, re- that one ingredient changes it because starch. It's it's that starchy, like a potato yeah. or a noodle. That is what makes it hot. I'm gonna. Yeah, I think that's probably a really good mod- modifier to say if it's a hot dish or not. Yeah, act, no, I looked this up. Oh, like you did. Research thing. Mike was being a butt. No, so I had to go look up more specific. A specifics. solid carb or a starch would with, make it a hot and, dish. And it needs some kind of a cream of soup. A cream of soup, but it also has to have French with it. Top. So you get this weird, weird mix of both a starchy, like a heavy potato mm-hmm. or something in there, a noodle mm-hmm. with the soup. So like like if it's I, weird. It, like if I was to take a shepherd's pie, but add in a cream of something and then add in like. Whole potatoes, not mashed potatoes on the top. That's it. Uh, I feel like if it's regular potatoes, I mean, probably, but it would. Potatoes and noodles. I feel like it needs to be tater tots. So. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I, no, no way. I got to say something. If you do something. tater tots in a, in a shepherd's pie, it feels like blasphemy, but I would deadly. I would eat the shit out of it. I would eat the shit out of it. I have to say something. I can't. I have to inform a lot of you that these foods exist. This thing, this concoction you're referring to exists outside of Minnesota. Fairly readily in the other 49 states, and nobody else calls it hot dish. We're going to move on to the next question. <laughs> no, no, no. I, have, I have one other thing. So if you have a lasagna, but you use a cream sauce. So if you use cream of mushroom soup in a lasagna, is that well, a casserole? 
Is just that a hot dish? I feel yeah. like if it's a repeated layer, then it's not a hot it's, dish. It's, 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 a, it's, a, it's an Italiano one. hot dish. <laughs> it, it's a hot dish. It's a hot dish. It's a hot dish. A dish caliente. It's a dish caliente. It's a little tops. It's a little tops. It's a little tops. It's a little tops. If you smash out a bunch of hash browns, oh. or not hash browns, a bunch of tater tots into a thin layer and then add oh. it in between the noodles. I feel like I sauce. offended somebody there. Okay. Yeah. Um, uh, Sokity had a secondary part of the question. Also, what does it do with eggnog? Um, I, like I, it. I, it, I feel like eggnog and pumpkin spice are the same thing. Not, no. it's not the same thing in terms of flavor, mm. but it is the same thing in terms of season. No. Where Nog. No, no, no. I'm saying that you you don't eat pumpkin spice any time outside no. of fall. You don't. I put it on carrots all the time. Winter. Nifty. Winter, you <laughs> use pumpkin spice still. Yeah. yeah it's a fall. It's but, a fall. It, but it's a fall, sure. maybe early winter type thing. The, the holiday season. If the temperature is above 50 degrees. No. 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 If it's 50 or below, eh, it's, it's a pumpkin thing, spice. But it's, it's a thing of you use it because that is the time of year to use something, not because it's good or bad. And Sweater eggnog, weather. Wait, okay. Sweater weather, yeah. Do you use nutmeg? Yes. Uh, I use do it for making Alfredo. Do you use cinnamon? No. Not hardly ever. Uh, really? No. Sometimes. Did this backfire? Yeah. Only when no, it's not entirely. Only when, it's below, no. only when it's below fifty degrees. Only when it's below fifty degrees. Allspice only. Allspice is a minus. Okay, 50 I'll give you. I'll give you all spices more. a below fifty degrees. Cloves. Cinnamon, not so much. Cloves. No. I don't cloves. Use, cloves are also. Cloves are disgusting. No. No. It also, I don't, I don't like cloves. He he really hates cloves. I don't like every every beer I've ever had with cloves has been like one of the most disgusting things I've ever drank. Mm, cigarettes. Well, okay, yeah, if you put that in a drink, it's not going to be good. <laughs> no, clove cigarettes. <laughs> Why would you put clove cigarettes in a drink? <laughs> Just grind them up and put them into a jar of whiskey. I mean, if you want to put it, if you wanna put it out, there's better things. Yeah. You just take yeah, a pack of Marlboros and just grind yes, them up. Yes, I guess I was wrong no. for <laughs> suggesting <laughs> to put cigarettes in your drink. Yeah, you keep that, that out of- That's on me. Yeah, but if you put it if you put it in a casserole, it does make it a hot dish. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> I, will, I will say to anybody- Good old Marlboro hot dish. <laughs> anybody listening, <laughs> pumpkin spice is good on carrots at all times of the year, so- yeah, but it, like you say, nut- marshmallows are good at carrots. No, like nutmeg. Mm. I, uh, or sorry, yams. Yams. Yes, yeah. this I is use correct. A, uh, when I make Alfredo, actually, I put a couple pictures of nutmeg. No, yeah. uh, no, Alfredo. Marshmallows and Alfredo. <laughs> you never that's know. Not what he's that's saying. a white sauce, but that's the wrong white <laughs> that, sauce. That man there puts marshmallows with potato, and he calls it a side dish. It that's is. true. It's not. Mm. Sweet potato casserole is a side no. dish. Dessert. You now you're adding context. Yeah, you have more brown sugar than potato. <laughs> a sweet potato. Yeah, is not a potato. <laughs> I think <laughs> I love when what? John went right to punch <laughs> God went. in the face. <laughs> 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 Just holds up, holds up a sweet potato. What is this? What is this madness? <laughs> this is pure. <laughs> this is the proof God doesn't exist. Just literally. <laughs> yes. holds- All right. You, you walk into the middle of D.C. and hold up a sweet potato and go, this. And everyone goes around and goes, oh, I, I say to you, yuck. Uh, I say yuck. Yums. All right. So let's uh, let's get to the next question here. So Nolan Void asks, uh, what object would you want as a hat? Will always stay in your head ooh, and, and weigh ooh. as much as a hat. A duck. Oh. No matter what it yeah, is, it will stay in your head and weigh as much as a hat. Wait, would it still poop? Well, uh, apparently there's. If this is a magical is hat. Sta- so is it in stasis? Would, would you want to want a pig? You can want wiggles. Extra wiggles. Would, would it poop? Uh, we'll say, controllably. Like it will poop, but not on you. So I, I, it was. Oh, uh, I've got to go to the bathroom to relieve my pig. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> um, wipe, wipe. It, no, you gotta wipe. Oh, no, gotta wipe. It's a self, if you're putting it on your self head, cleaning yeah. pig. Now, how is it cleaning itself? Because it's just got hooves. Well, that, you, that's well, worse. Are you feeding it? Of course. I kind of like the idea of eating little crackers in the shower. Yeah. Oh my god, that'd be, yeah. be kind of fun. Now, you just be able to feed it anything. You gotta give it yeah. snacks. It's a pig. It can eat anything. Yeah. I just want to get mine out of the way, just because uh, this just seems like another opportunity to have a tiny derpy sit on my head. Mm. Oh, nice. Wait, okay. yeah. also I just wanted to get that out of another the way. Tiny also, wait, why? Why is this another opportunity? Have you had other opportunities? No, this, every opportunity should be taken for tiny derpies. Mm. So cookie mm. derpy, cookie derpy. 
Yeah, fun. <laughs> that was that's a, that's a nice reference. Um, if I had to do it, I I want uh, so a hat on my head. So okay, what I feel like I need to take advantage of the situation. It will always stay in my head, and it will weigh as much as a hat. Um, just an infinite I'm gonna to say thing. an airplane. Wait. You're just gonna. Have, you, you just want to yeah. be flown around by a, a tiny airplane. No, that, like, see, like I was going to say something really. Your head. I, I thought I was gonna be smart and say like Jeff Bezos's yacht, but then I realized that I'd probably be underwater and that probably wouldn't work. Yeah, but out. a plane like it could. If I just want to be like you know, uh, see y'all later, all y'all, it'd be like. Phew. And if it weighed as much as a hat, the thing would be so light. But if be, we could be terrifying. If we could where, where would you live? But it doesn't need to have much. I don't. It doesn't matter. You can fly anywhere. Uh, I, can, I can live in the sky. <laughs> hey, if we can abuse this question, I'm changing my answer to a fusion generator with infinite Wi-Fi. Mm. Why? Wait. That's it, legit. Wait, that sounds yeah. like dangerous. Yeah. Like, I if just, somebody shot you in the head, you the would FBI just... Is if like, someone did, shot me in the head, I'm dead anyway. Yeah. What do I care if it's a fusion generator? The, yeah. the FBI would steal you and plug you into something. It's my hat. <laughs> <laughs> I'm taking it. An infinite gold bullion dispenser just... Pew. No, but it would only well, weigh no. as much as a hat. Okay, so I'm going to say no to that because he doesn't – it says it can stay in your head and weigh as much as a hat, but now you're t- asking it to break another It has to thing. stay. I already it asked it to, to be a magical pony. No, that Michael, it has to stay on your head. So it would dispense gold, but the gold would have to stay on your head. Yeah, as soon as that gold came out, it weighed as much as gold. And if it yeah. just kept shooting it out, that's I mean, breaking the rules. And, Am I Mac? But you're, you're breaking the rules. You're you're breaking the like the some law of third thermodynamic. I can't. You're just upset. So you guys didn't get the gold hat. What if it was just Ryan I'm, Reynolds? If I'm playing, Ryan Reynolds weighing as much as a hat, yes, on your head, <laughs> on your head, I would, I would kind of. He owns that. Min Mobile. He'd, he'd be rich. Give, he'd give you cell phones and gin. He'd I could, give you cell phones and so gin. Bad. You get to live in his house and he, Deadpool movies. Be, uh, you don't, you don't get to be part of the house. Deadpool movie. They'd, they'd green screen you out, but that's <laughs> still there. <laughs> I like the idea of like, hey baby, uh, you want to get with Ryan Reynolds? Uh, kinda. He's, he follows us around like strangely. He's, he's right up there. He, he, he won't wink, get on. See him before. He's under contract to wink every five minutes. He's under contract. Wait, no, you're under contract. He winks. Does he have to go? Does uh, mm. maybe? I mean, it depends. It, I mean, think that's extra. Okay. Yeah. Mm. But uh, I'm not sure if I'd pay for that. But I want to also well, like if a Ryan Reynolds only weighed like a pound and a half, though. Yeah. Like, would you float away? Ryan what? Reynolds. No. This, no, is because, okay. this, is not, this is not anti gravity, no, right? No, no, it's, no, 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 no. It's not. It's, it's about <laughs> it's about density. So, like, yeah. say say you had the yacht, yes. and it was the same weight as a hat. Yes. But this would be therefore was, like, spread across the entire you, weight of it. You, if you were displacing more air in weight than the yacht was, I, you would float. This I would, would take huge. ephemeral Ryan Reynolds over anything. Anything. I feel like Wait, this is weight, not mass. It says way as much, not mass. Yes. Is yes. Ryan Reynolds filled with like hydrogen? No, well, well, if he was, he probably wouldn't look the same. No, because no, his nah. weight is how much no. he's coming down. Yeah. His mm-hmm. mass is how much. But if he's filled with like air. helium or no, hydrogen, no, it no, doesn't I'm matter because helium. The whole reason it lifts is because it is de- less dense than air. Yeah, yeah. But if you took something less. that was the say the size of a yacht. Like Mike uh, or that like Kyle was saying originally, if it was the size of a yacht but weighed as much as a hat, that means it would be immensely low density and therefore could be the density of helium and float. Yeah, because so, yeah. a helium balloon has negative weight, but it has positive mass. Yes. Yes. Does this mean Ryan Reynolds has superpowers? No. Well, is he, the, get, well he, if he is a hat in this example, yes, yeah, he does. Okay. Hey. His gin is called Aviator. <laughs> oh, he oh, oh, found out the truth. He, he flies. flies. He, he has the best hat. We were waiting for this. It moment. was the hat. We are, we're on to you, Ryan Reynolds. Yes. You, you make your stupid Deadpool movies you've make always, fun of us. You've always wanted to be a hat. No, those aren't oh, stupid okay. Deadpool uh, movies. They're, 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 they're great they're family actually, movies. They're actually really good family movies. Yeah, they're... they're <laughs> Sure. Yes. Uh, anyways, uh, next question we have is from Bus Filming Pond that asks, "What is the one thing that you are thankful for in life?" Well, asking one thing, sure, I would say like, "What is a thing that you are thankful for in life?" The whiz. The whiz. At any opportunity, I don't know. Ibuprofen. <laughs> <laughs> no, I would say aspirin. Yeah, no. I, I mix the two. It's no, a, I think it, I think an aspirin morning. saved your life. Yeah, yeah. multiple well, occasions actually. Yeah, how no, how I take it every morning. Aspirin? Yeah. Well, that makes mm-hmm. sense. But how many were you taking at one point? Oh, I was taking like seven a day. <laughs> seven, eight. 
A seven know? a day or seven a taking? Yeah, I would just keep taking aspirin until things stopped hurting. <laughs> you, you stopped <laughs> counting and just, well, that's a handful. No, if um, I were if I were to answer, I'd say family. Yeah. I was really lucky in terms of family. Mm. You were born with things. I was born with a family that loves me and had money and with opportunity and connections. I had a family that loved me. I I, I had a family who could father couldn't hold a job with swans. <laughs> <laughs> with swans? <laughs> the guys, you know, the swan trucks. Yeah, oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay. Those guys. No, I was just imagining swans were chasing him around a park. <laughs> <laughs> no, he, 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 always did use, he always did use to blame his hair loss on getting his hair stuck to the top of the freezer in the swan truck. <laughs> <laughs> That's a great story. <laughs> yeah, because he would always get, he'd reach into the truck, and then his head would hit the top of the freezer. And, and it would take off some hair. And it would, like, rip off some of his hair. <laughs> if you actually did that long enough and it kept pulling hair, yeah. Oh, yeah. oh yeah. my god. Because every time oh, you're going to yeah. pull That's hilarious. It's going to pull out one permanently. <laughs> you would just learn to not hit your head on the swan well, truck. We got to know. You should learn not to hit your head on the swan's truck. So is the inside of his truck just furry? Is it just all his hair? It's <laughs> like a bunch of hair on the roof of the truck. <laughs> yeah. Because they haven't thought it out in It's a insulation. Yeah. Extra installation. Mm -hmm. No, like, my, I like my. My dad, like, all my childhood was, like, Swan's Truck Driver, Snappy Tomatoes Pizza. It was... We Wait. were we were trailer park children. <laughs> Wait, did you get cheap chicken pot pies? No, then? he caught bees. Oh, uh, um, sometimes my dad <laughs> would bring home stuff from Swan's that he'd get all, like, super discount. I remember these giant, like, meat rings that were baked inside of, like, a... Uh, a bun cake? A bun cake? Wait, mm -hmm. chicken rings mm -hmm. no, it was like, it was back like, then? <laughs> <laughs> yes, they did. <laughs> Oh. It's, a, it's a bun cake. It was like a bun cake, but there was like uh, meat inside. I remember eating that thing a lot. Well, are you saying are you saying bunt cake or bunt? Bunt. bunt. Oh, okay, bunt. good. Because the only That's rings the of meat that I remember before the ring chicken rings yeah. were shrimp. Shrimp yeah. rings? Yeah, you just have a ring of like cocktail shrimp. Oh, I, re I remember. Yes. I remember one Holtquist hoopla with shrimp, where somebody brought in the meat ring. And it was from a bunt cake can but the it, it, meat ring? It was the, the meat, ring meat ring. Because we tr all of us tried to eat it. Two and men go no in. No one could do it. Was this like a like a Lady in the Tram situation? No, oh no. No, no, no. This was like wow. a, we're gonna cut off slices and put it on those nice little little crackers, like little Ritz crackers. It's like a charcuterie board. And then and then people try as fancy. Yeah, but like people tried to eat it and then it was like it was so salty. Oh, yeah, it's I, like, I like almost killed. <laughs> this like, is the, the saltiest thing I've ever eaten, and I once ate a huge bowl of salt. <laughs> <laughs> I do like the idea There's of just like here? pulverizing cans of spam and then just putting them in a bunt cake ring, and then for <laughs> it's like here you go, children, and then it goes. <laughs> because <laughs> it goes onto the plate. Yeah, the like deer, can, the deer love it. Like, <laughs> like how how salty is it? You're pouring water at it. You're like, look, it disappears. <laughs> it's evaporating <laughs> as it hits it. <laughs> like, no, you oh need to put God, this in the driveway so that you can get out. <laughs> yes, yes. Yeah. So what they did? They went out there with like a sponge, and they're just going in the driveway with the meat ring. <laughs> <laughs> like, like just the, rubbing the meat ring on the driveway to make sure it doesn't fall yeah, over. Yeah, uh, Mr. Clean was expanding its uh -huh, inventory and uh -huh. was like, "We want to buy that patent, <laughs> like, so we can get into like there, outdoor." There, there's a mechanic on the underlayment of the vehicle, making sure all the the brake lines are are safe by taking the meat bun and wiping it on the. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> well, that's that that is salt though. Like, why oh, now I'm just imagining a salt truck, except a salt truck full of meat. Meat salt. That just kind of distributes meat to all mm. the children of the world. <laughs> Everybody yeah, gets children. <laughs> get near the back of the vehicle. <laughs> Ooh, we'll, we'll I got a turkey leg. I got a sausage. I got a mat. I just... Uh, oh, no. Those are delicious. How dare you? I just like the thought of one of those, like, like high-velocity salt, salt throwers in the back just flinging meat at all the children. <laughs> And every every time a piece comes out, you hear a scream. <laughs> oh, no. Like forty mile an hour drumsticks. What, like, is this like a baseball thrower? And like yeah. you, you can see the little like the the conveyor belt spinning. Like okay, Timmy. 
Oh, the, the meat truck's here. Put your helmet on. <laughs> oh, God, I got a rape in the eye. It's Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> the, the children who don't survive the meat the truck. Sauce, the um, sauce it burns. I got oh. the ajou. <laughs> this is brisket stuck in my bicep. <laughs> it's like, is, is that ghost pepper? Blinks twice. Yep, that's what's in there. <laughs> this Christmas brought to you by Crit Famous Dave's. Ooh, ooh. All right. Uh, so, Kyle, what are you thankful for? All of you. Oh, I was going to say similar. Gross. No, I, like the, the Gross. friends. The friends are fun. Being able to like every night having a stable thing to always go back to, and the people that that know you better than anybody else, mm. uh, that to where you can make jokes of any number of offense, and people would just go, "Ooh, that was funny," or "Whoa, that was bad," and not care. Like, it, it's kind of just fun because you know people well enough that you can be as real as you could be to anybody else. Being with the bros. I would rather have a metal Tonka truck. A metal Tonka truck. So yeah, they're all plastic so now. So you can hit your sibling with it? No, because. No, that was me. No, because the metal one. <laughs> my sister has a scar on her eye because I, I, no. I threw a Tonka truck I, at her. I never had a metal Tonka truck, but I remember in my grandparents' place, they had a metal cannon. Mm, yeah. No, just the little like foot long cannon that yeah. was just made out of iron and mm. just really had some heft to it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The the metal Tonka truck though, I did have a metal one when I was a kid. I did too. And, and one of the reasons they're not allowed, they don't make them anymore is because we used to ride that thing down a hill. Because <laughs> those things were durable. You used to ride a lot of things down a hill. It's like this toy is strong. Let's no. put it at the top of the hill and ride it. I, down. How I, did it compare to the tire? The tire. Riding a tire down a hill. I never mm. rode a tire. I rode in a barrel down a hill. Okay, yeah, so yeah, I remember the barrel, barrel a tire, Tonka yeah. truck, or sled over dirt. I did ride the sled over like grass a lot. Yeah, so did we. I ruined like my... tall grass while a sled would go down. Me and my friend yeah. used to have a. Our fun tradition was we would go to a, a big hill, and we'd be like the only ones there or something. And we both have a sled, and we would have a rope, and we would tie each other's legs together. Yeah. Not not like left to right leg, but I would tie one of my legs to one of his legs. Okay. And then it would be of a decent length. And then you would run up the hill. But at some point up, one of you would decide, I'm going back down. Boink. Well, if you're not ready, you're just being dragged down that hill. Oh, yeah. Oh, and yeah. the amount of times that we just got like dragged down the hill like and Beaten to crap. I mean, I was a lot younger then. It was okay. But it was, I mean, I don't even remember if it was fun at the time, but looking back, like, it was just, it was hilarious fun because you're like, I'm going to get up that hill. And then there's whoop, and you're like back down. And because when you're going down the hill face first, everything is built to keep the snow up. When you go backwards, everything's built to take the snow in. And so you end up like any of the bottom of the hill, like 10 pounds heavier. Mm. I sometimes forget that Minnesota is always like a snowy hellscape. Yeah, like at all times. Well, you say that, but that's it. It sounds just to me like Kentucky was boring, snowless. Well, no, it had it, it had snow, but it was also always on top of a layer of solid ice. So we yeah. would have like the, the no, you've okay, got the got, layer of ice on top of the snow, so that you get the crunch and then the jagged edges. I Michael, just, yes. God, God was trying to tell you something. <laughs> he was trying to say, just take them out. I remember having a lot of fun trying to walk up hills and the failing because it was just. Solid sheets of ice and be like, so I have to ask when you were a child, the bottom of your favorite sledding hill, what was at the bottom? Was it a road? Was it a okay. pond? I have it was, one it, it was a pond, <laughs> it was a pond and a bunch of small trees that hurt. Because no, my the bottom of my favorite sledding hill was a road and then a pond. <laughs> well, I have, a, I have an answer for this one. So I actually have two answers. So the one of them, we, it was when we were doing the, the like thing, is right at the bottom of the hill, it would go back up to a road, and yeah. it was a fairly busy road. And yeah. so it was like, don't go that way. But when you're young, you say, let's go that way. Yeah, if you let's go fast you enough, jump it. you'll let's jump the track. Yeah, so you want to try to jump it. Uh, but when I was in college... Uh, I went to Mankato State, and there was uh, – if you go down the hill a little bit, there's a super steep hill that leads into the city. And there's this walkway for a little bit, but then it literally turns from a walkway into a road at like a 45-degree angle. Mm. And we're like, we need to get a sled. <laughs> no, you just get but a, the problem is – just get a tray from the dining hall. Yeah, mm, but yeah. As, once you're actually going though and you hit the road – 
that is a, it, it's a fairly busy road and you are not, there's nothing you can do. You can put your legs down, you can flag, it doesn't matter. You're dead if a car comes out. So we never did it, no. but we looked at that and said, mm -hmm. I want to do I'd that do someday. It. Yeah. But you were, it, it was the, it the would, same angle. Yeah, it would 100% <laughs> yeah. kill you. It yeah. would. I don't know if it was a sled, but we used to have this huge, super steep hill that was the road. that, And we would just, like, go as fast as we could down that hill on our bikes to see if we could leave the longest, uh, like, bike skid. You know, you'd brake real hard and it would leave, like, a oh, rubber yeah. skid yeah. mark. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And we would always compete to see who could leave the biggest one. That's a fun, with a bike. fun one. No, like with that. a bike. Well, that's not what your question was. Yeah. It's about not. going down a hill. It's, a not, it's, it's, that's going, not, it's a going down Christmas. a hill question. I've gone I, down <laughs> hills and been suspended for it because of fights that happened after. Mm. <laughs> but I, that's a different story. It I is. still remember my favorite sledding hill was at my cousin's house. And it was... Like it, it was a good 400 feet of, of hill and it was a, like a 30 degree, you know, decline all the way down. Yep. But it kind of like wove in between trees and stuff. And my cousin, my uncle would put hay bales in front of the trees that were most likely to snap all of yeah. our tiny little children limbs. And we we're like 10. He's got a cushion. And they're, they're yeah. just like every year there would be a broken bone. Yeah, no. Every you single hay year. bale at 40 miles an hour. I know. We would fly down those hills and there would be times when it's just like oh god the birch tree's gonna kill me this time and then you'd see your friend who's like just ahead of you go off the path and just get just get like clotheslined by an oak tree and you're just like oh god he's dead you keep going that's just ensuring that your aunt yells at your uncle until you don't have anything that impales the children exactly he just, he just, oh hail boo that, that, that is the same family that thought Making a birthday cake because this is my cousin's birthday. This is why we were just sledding yeah. in January or or December it, down a death hill. They were the same people who thought it was a good idea to not make a cake to make to make a sledding hill cake, but not add more cake to make the hill, but instead frosting. So yeah. they, used, they used eight cans of frosting to make the sledding hill, and then they cut the cake and they just fed the children all of this, all of the, the the frosting. Remember, everyone got sick. Everyone, everyone threw up. Pierce damage is dangerous. Crush damage is fine. That's why clerics have maces. That's a nerd joke. Okay. What's the next question? Yeah, so I think yeah, I think we covered that one uh, in many various ways uh so silver asked the last question here which is what is your favorite winter holiday tra tradition so do you have a oh, holiday tra yes. tradition oh, um oh no uh, no this is actually a pretty standard one it's not it's not michael story's the version wait do we no. want the happy michael music the one tradition that i always no, the happy michael the one tradition i still kind of follow yes. is the, there we go that's more appropriate the one the one tradition I still kind of follow, and I will make them for this New Year's, is always eat sauerkraut as your first meal. As the first thing you eat, it's good wait, luck. Wait, wait, That's wait. Awesome. As your first, first meal, meal or, or first your first course. food? The first thing you eat should have, should include sauerkraut. Okay, that first, is, you, first meal of what? Like, of the new year. Giving them to babies? Of, of the of new year. Yeah. Okay. okay. Michael, you were no, not Christmas. Of the new year. Michael, you had this worded very um, differently. Yes. First one was, you must consume a meal solely of sauerkraut. <laughs> <laughs> yes. And yes. like, do I just crack the can and start going at it? It's or? good luck. <laughs> yes. It's like Popeye, except with pickled oh, Yeah, yeah but if you say it includes sauerkraut that makes more sense no. you have to eat sauerkraut at the first as the first thing for the new year as a, as a, for good luck what if you're allergic then you're gonna have shitty luck allergic to mm. what cabbage or vinegar yeah yes like, like who's allergic, what if you're to, allergic to both do they cancel out do they fight Probably. each other until well, eventually you're salt. okay with it there are no proteins particular to either cabbage or vinegar that mm -hmm. would make you allergic to either of those ingredients. God works in salt? mysterious ways. What if we, what if you were allergic to salt? Then you'd be dead. Yeah, uh, well, yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's like saying you're allergic <laughs> to uh, salt. I'm <laughs> allergic to protein. I'm allergic to <laughs> you water. Just melt. Vegans live. <laughs> they well, act, they yeah, eat nuts. barely. Nuts. <laughs> I wouldn't call that living. <laughs> I mean, uh, if I didn't eat either, but... No, you'll um, have bad luck if you don't eat sauerkraut the okay. very first of the new year. Okay, uh, so have you ate... How, for all the years that you had sauerkraut, how was your luck? <laughs> I mean, I'm, my heart's still beating. That's true. So. That's very true, actually. He's still alive. It's like, just because, like, 
I mean, I was skating the bottom of the barrel, mm. but I wasn't quite crossing yeah. the line, yeah. which means yeah, I'm pretty, God was watching it's out. It's a high level of luck. If it's it, different. If I didn't eat sauerkraut last year, I would have uh, died. So it's like saying like, when you have all your other stats super low, but you have one high enough that it just ignores the rest. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Is that what that is? That's exactly what that is. So sauerkraut is luck stat. It's a luck stat. It's the only thing keeping me alive. Sauerkraut. Sauerkraut. It's a dumb I, stat. I just bought I, some. Like, good. We need it. To keep you alive? <laughs> to keep me alive. <laughs> we need it for the new year. Pump it into no. my veins. We'll have to consume it before then. No, um, get but, more. Uh, but I think that was... Uh, well, actually, I didn't say what, what tradition I had. Uh, our holiday... Our family holiday tradition is kind of, I guess, not really that special. It's really just about getting everybody together, has a nice dinner, and then everybody sits around and opens presents. We've done less present opening and uh, then normal. The kids all get to open stuff, but the adults have thankfully uh, kind of stopped doing it. But I, I, I'm a kind of okay with that because I feel like big fancy stuff isn't my thing uh, for that. I just kind of like that it's nice and consistent and big, whatever. You're surrounded by big fancy stuff. Well, for, mm -hmm. for for holidays. No. Like, when it goes to do social events, I don't want to have these, like, big obligations that have these big complex things I have to do everywhere. I like that it's, like, every time we have a family event, it's kind of the same thing, but that's kind of nice for that. So, so mm. our family tradition, kind of weird, but kind of standard at the same time is... Does everybody grow a mustache? No, <laughs> yes. no. Everybody. The child everybody. has so. grown his first mustache. <laughs> Christmas Child's morning. first mustache. <laughs> Christmas morning, the way that we always do gifts is we do it in rotation. Youngest person opens their gift first, then okay. second youngest person, and then at, okay, we do similar. As everyone is opening gifts, whatever gift it is is written in the book, and who gave it is written in the book. The book. Mm. The book. Yeah. The book. The book. I don't know what happens. Is this for legal reasons? <laughs> I don't know what happens to this book. Is it a different book every year? Wait, no, it's the same book, and and. Every year, it, the book is just added to. I'm, I'm fascinated by this because I feel it's like, like it's the reason. I, I don't know. I have not been inducted into the mysteries of <laughs> the book. Like, like if like you try mm. to disown somebody in the family, they open up the book. In 1997, he gave you a spitting top. And you would disown him? <laughs> in 1998, he gave you a gift card to Outback. <laughs> and you disowned him? I, I a wanna... Tickle Me Elmo in 2003. <laughs> I want to see, like, eventually you're going to give a present and they're going to be like, John. John, that was a thirty-eight dollar present. Let's go back through the book here. <laughs> yes. Like, I, so we see that two thousand and fifteen. Uh, the same gift was given yes. to you by the same person. Who, this oh. is a re-gift right here. No. We have it in it's black and white. It's a re -gift. Clear oh. as day. This is a re-gift. No, I was thinking about like, hmm, it seems here that the value as of last year, adjusted for inflation, was not quite up to par, John. Oh. I, I am, is that a banker family? I am <laughs> fascinated by this. Like, who is writing in the book? It used to be for, like, thank you cards or thank you notes. Uh -huh. Yeah. So you could go back through it and say, oh, yeah, you got uh, $20 from grandma. And then from the other side mm -hmm. of the family, you got $30. So it sounds like write the better it, thank you card to that side. But like, it sounds, like, very, like, aggressive. A little bit. <laughs> like, yes. the, the children never got to see the book. It's like, you, when you walk in the house, it's like, please sign the waiver. <laughs> To be included yes. in the book. <laughs> <laughs> like, would you like to be included yeah, in the you, book? You, every like, single Christmas, you sign in blood. They prick your face no, and no, put your thumb no, into everyone, it. Everyone, before they came for the Christmas meal, they had to sign the guest book. Sign, uh, do, have you signed what? Form 480B? No. Oh, no, I signed 480A. It's a new version. Yes, we revised it this July. Sorry, you've got the wrong paperwork. Uh, here, <laughs> fill out this form. You can't come inside until you fill out the correct form. Oh John, from, from Hitchhiker's Guide, what was the name of that alien species? That's what it's kind of reminding me of. Zogon? Or, no. It was from the very beginning. Well, yeah, the yeah, one the that ones was like... the poetry. Yeah, yeah, the bureaucratic species yes. that, like, everything was a form yeah. design. Yeah, I um, I am occasionally reminded that John grew up in a very different world from me, and this is mm -hmm. one of those moments. I feel like that's it's a good reason I put you guys on opposite ends of the table <laughs> because you're definitely very yeah, opposite ends. You of the two are 
American standard, and Michael and I are the opposite spectrum. <laughs> the trailer part kid, the kid who always ate his like Triscuits with his pinky up. I, I like. I, was, I don't know. I like. It's like John's. Like we went to Disneyland. You're like we stole it off cable. Oh no, <laughs> we stole it. Off cable. We did steal our cable. But that's the size of the point. It's not. It's not our fault. The, 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 back in the nineties. How they turned off your game was a guy came out and cut your wire. All you had to do was put that shit back together. <laughs> and you had cable again. <laughs> we figured that out. That's the big things. That's what we were. Uh, Just because I had an uncle work for Disney. <laughs> <laughs> no, John. Anyway. He, he had an uncle that worked for Disney Plumbing. <laughs> My dad worked for Nintendo. Uh-huh. <laughs> Oh, um, <laughs> anyway, he me, got you a box with a big X <laughs> on it in the nineties. <laughs> he did. All, all of our video games when I was growing up came from yards. So I kind of mind it too. Yeah. yeah. All right. I'm eating chocolate or so. All right. So he is. Let me swallow that. So thank you for hanging out. It, Merry Christmas, everybody! Again. Merry uh, Christmas. So what we went over. Oh yeah. So, so uh, John, if you want to go from your side, I feel like you grab the chocolate for a reason. Yeah. So speaking of what. Argo was eating. I brought rum balls. Yeah, they're actually very good. Chocolate yes. rum balls. And they're, they're balls. They're not rum cooked rum. They're actual mm -hmm. rum balls. Um, yes. They're very good. It's, yeah. like a, it's like a chocolate kind of like fudge with almonds and rum and you can definitely you get some yellow wafers. You got two ingredients, right? But beyond that, I brought, <laughs> I brought <laughs> two beers that nobody drank and then the darkness. Uh, we drink a lot. I of might have one of those, but there's so much high percentage stuff we had on here. Yeah, yeah. Um, uh, uh, yeah, yeah. So the darkness you brought. So we ended up before we started. We ate a. Or, so just to reiterate, uh, it was a surly darkness. It's a very limited edition beer that runs every year. So you picked up uh, three cans of different flavors because you can only pick up one of each flavor yep. in a purchase. And we drank a ginger snap before we started. Uh, which I thought was uh, okay. Yeah. Uh, I think it was good. It, it was definitely good, but it wasn't, I think, my thing. The raspberry was definitely more my thing. It was very good. That yes. was very good. Um, it's an imperial style, so very high percentage style. Uh, and then we haven't opened up the other one, which is the brec Lumberjack Breakfast. Lumberjack Breakfast. Lumberjack it's like breakfast. a coffee, coffee. A maple. Maple. We, yeah. we don't know. There's we just haven't a, read it. Yeah, we haven't. We haven't seen no, it. I did. It was a coffee uh, vanilla. I think they all kind of have vanilla. Coffee, vanilla, chocolate, yeah, and vanilla. Uh, maple. And beer. Mm -hmm. And beer. Somewhere yeah, in there. beer in there somewhere. Ginger cacao. Uh, Kyle, what did you bring? Well, I brought, oh um, uh, technically, it's it's still edible. Um, edible? We, we had a wonderful... Upstairs with pizza, we had Mickey. I actually thought it was fine good. malt liquor. Well, you're... I liked it. It was. It had just. It wasn't anything special, but it definitely. <laughs> it wasn't like anything. Two point six stars out of five. Off, yeah, off no. The beer beer it choice doesn't was... deserve that many no, stars. Like all, it, all it tasted like was it was a liquid, and then it ended with bread. It was, like, no. I, all I did was I saw this I on the it. shelf, and I and I saw the word Mickey's. I'm like, oh, that sounds kind of stupid. And it all it didn't even have any marketing. It just says fine malt liquor. I'm like, damn. They know drink, what they're about. If you're not gonna drink it, I'll drink the last one at some point. You can have it. The, I thought they were good. Like they were I, not. And it's it's glass. Yeah. It, it is. It is a full thick it, glass. It's a it's, weird looking. It's better. Bottle. It's it's better than Bud Light. And then oh. I brought the titular, oh, the God. one, the only juice, juice, juice. J o o s e. It, it, it smelled like, tasted like Robitussin rubbing alcohol. I want to see if I can find with the back end of juicy juice. Of a, a nondescript flavor, kind of like you just took a bunch of like you remember when you were a kid and you took a bunch of the juicy juice boxes and you just crushed them and you put them all together into one glass because you had you had like five of the different flavors. Like that's what it kind of tasted like. It's like more like, more like grapeish flavoring than that. Is it Jolly Rancher you left in the car three years ago and you found one? Ooh, Jolly Rancher, and then you stuck it in your mouth. That's what that is. But it tastes like rubbing alcohol. Yes. So yes. I want to see if I can find this comment, which it I is, okay. So it is amazing. So bad. Kyle brought the juice blackberry, 
14 percent black berry katie lynn on youtube because there's a youtube linked in the back with the whole 108 subscri six subscribers said Boy. a kind of comment i love the blue library one but i fucking hate the blackberry flavored one because it tastes nasty as fuck mm -hmm. and sadly i'm drinking blackberry but it's better than fruit punch and shit and i feel like i kind of agree with her it because was bad. she's basically like this stuff is shit uh, but I'm drinking it. So I also want to mm. read the the comment that I want to read about Mickey's. Oh no! So mm -hmm. no, I told you this comment. This yeah. comment is, um, so this rated uh, the Mickey's a two point four out of five. Mm -hmm. That seems high. That and seems the description high. of Mickey's is: This tastes the way I thought all beer tasted when I was seven. My main <laughs> my main grape is this app does not list grenade as a serving style. <laughs> <laughs> you know, now that I look at the bottle, yes, it definitely looks like a little it bit does of grenade. Though, yeah. it's, like, it's like one of the British pineapple I, grenades. If I were to just drink these all night, probably not going to have a good experience. But I, I feel like if one. this is going to be something that you're already halfway in and you just want to finish off cheaply, I would definitely would do you this. Would you drink a 40 of Mickey's? A 40? I feel like uh, no, I, not I as my first. I also like my comment of... If I was thirsty and I didn't have access to water, I would definitely drink this. Yes, I think it was your quote. Yeah, I think that's fairly, fairly I reasonable. I feel yeah. like drinking Mickey's is just like, I'm done pretending I'm not an alcoholic. <laughs> I'm just going to drink this because it has alcohol in it. Maybe I'm yeah. done pretending. It, it was just a fairly, it was, it was, comparatively, it was a fairly no. expensive beer. Like, I could have bought like a 25 pack of Coors. It wasn't hey, that's less than two bucks amount. a bottle. Yeah, Coors, you know, you can spend $3 for a 24 pack of water. Yeah. So it, it, it is that, but yeah, that, that's uh, Mickey's. Mickey's was reason. It, it tasted like and, and was expected to taste like a beer. And that is ten cents an ounce. It's not bad. I, um, but I, anyways, for the stuff that I brought, I actually didn't bring anything because everybody always brings so much. Sure. So I decided to like I was going to grab from the fridge some of the stuff, and then like this came up on the table, mm -hmm. so I just didn't uh, because I knew also Michael was being late. And uh, how much did you bring, Michael? I, I brought gifts for John. Yes, you brought two fancy. Um, ones. Only one of which was opened. Wait, yeah, one? you drink one of them. What? I'm going to open the other one. But, okay, this one. But, but later, after I've driven. Uh, okay, that one was opened. Well, and, um, and then I brought Ruby's rhubarb no. sour. Which how was good. that one? It's from Mankato Brewing. I liked it. It was very, very, very sour. Oh, okay. So very dry. Um, yeah, I'm not yeah. super dry. It was a little sweet, but very sour. Hard. And also, then, uh, yeah. Michael, this is a podcast. So describe what what is this fish. I, I don't know what's over there. <laughs> you, um, I bought what? it for you. You read the bottles. You're closer. Uh, oh, f yeah, you can grab that one. I'll grab. Oh, okay, I'll grab this one. If you oh, want to grab the other one, not alone. Uh, so this is a spice from. Uh, product for Barbados, 70 proof, uh, four square, rum with natural flavors. It tastes like something because we have it. Is it we open it? He did open it. it I would not want to drink that. Oh, well, nope. No. I, that is a spice drum. I would. I'm, well, I'm not a fan of spice drum. I, I could not drink I'm that in any, in any capacity. No. I prefer I prefer the simplest of ingredients so I can mix what I want with it. I Spice rum has a very sordid past. It's me my, good. My uh, brandy body. and me. Same with that. So. Oh, what is that one, John? Diplomatico. He got it because of the Diplomatico. Reserva Exclusiva. Mm. It says words that we can't speak on it. You, you haven't opened that one yet. It's though, so. not English. So I, <laughs> so I can't comment on the flavor or uh, anyone else because I, I only Nobody's speak English yet. and German. You can do the American thing about Wait. trying to and think it's right. It says rum, or it says, yes, it says ron, rum, and rum. What? Oh, oh it's oh. just the multiple translations. Oh, Ron, um, room, and room. So this is Ron. Michael bought me Ron. Product I of, just got you a bottle product of Product of Vuvuzela. I mean, Venezuela. Yeah. Oh, but anyways. I, I want to call this man with a mustache on the label Ron. Yeah, it's because Ron, the, this is a bottle of Ron. It's a bottle of Ron. Ron. Uh, but, Michael, what was the last, uh, the last beer you brought? The last beer you brought was a Rivertown Brown. It is a, I think it's a, I actually forget. It's, it's, it's booze. It's very it's hoppy. Good. It's very, um. It's a lot what? more hop flavor. Hoppy. I didn't think it was super hoppy. It's hop a brown beer. beer. It was, there was a lot more of a hop flavor to it to me. Um, oh. So it wasn't my favorite thing, uh, but. Mm. You also it, brought, you also was a fruit one. Yeah, he got, you got, got That I got bamboozled yeah. by. I mean, I like, Ruby. I like the Rivertown Brown. It's not my favorite. Favorite beer ever, but I no, it. I felt that there was definitely it was more funkiness, and I was going to tribute funkiness to hops. 
Okay. So it was definitely a little bit of the funky side. Anyway. Wait a uh, second. Did I mention the food? Uh, yeah, you covered the chocolate. Did you? Yeah. You did? Yeah, you did. Okay. Yeah. How much you drank, John? I drank enough that I didn't mention the rum balls. <laughs> <laughs> we did. We talked about it. Um, but anyways, that should be everything. So Merry Christmas, everybody. Thank Merry you for Christmas. hanging out with us for now. This is a bonus a year. I think we started in July of 2020. Mm-hmm. 2021. What episode number is it? 34. Yeah. We've skipped a we not skipped a couple, but we had a couple of delays here and there. It's gonna be a yeah. while till we're syndicated. It'll yeah, take a bit. Yeah, and until we're sponsored by Mailchimp. Mailchimp. And, yeah. and Mailchimp. <laughs> no, some, we need some mattress company. Oh, we're why? sponsored by Jeff. Can you get, oh, yeah. Like just some yeah. random guy that's like, hey, can you guys uh, sell my solo album? Yeah. Like, hey, hey, hey if you have something you want to sell, we are, we're here. Snap into a, right here. a Slim Jeff. <laughs> snap into a Slim Jeff. <laughs> snap into a Slim Jeff. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna yeah. Sp- sponsored by Slim Jeff. Uh, no, no. Your your nondescript jockey meat. <laughs> All right. Well, thanks for hanging out with us uh, for 2022. Uh, we'll be back for 2023. And so, Michael, to end out the year, what do you got? No words, just you, Con Cornelius, going. Oh no. no. <laughs> <laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> look at that big ass. Oh, no, I picked the wrong button. <laughs> <laughs>